upgrades of the new layouts. Ooh, ah. Mm -hmm. Does not seem to want to work. Well, that's not going to help things, is it? Uh, it might just be my iPad. But, uh, I see you. I just can't join chat for some reason. Well, that's sad. Uh, hang on. I'll just join on my computer. Yo, I can see you in chat. Oh, howdy all. Tell you what, I'm stuffed as well. My mum sent me like the biggest fucking ham you've sent me in, seen in your life, man. It's like bigger. It's bigger than my head. I've been trying to work my way through it. I glazed it a couple of nights ago. What was it last night? No, a couple of nights ago. And like, I just can't. Like, I've cut a third of it off and put it in the freezer. And like, I've like have like ham with every single meal. And like, I just, I'm, I'm so full. Like, I can't. I literally am so full because I've just got the best part of half a gammon inside me. Just um, take some of it and turn it into lardon, and then just keep it in the fridge for when you need it. Oh, I mean, I'm doing that as well. Like, I'm literally like, so I currently have in my fridge a chopped up massive fucking Spanish omelette with a whole bunch of chopped up stuff in it. I've had, I had that with two slices of it. <laughs> I've literally, every single meal I've had has ham in it in some capacity. <laughs> <laughs> and usually, like, the main part of it. Fair. Yeah, so I can't, I, just, I, I, I can't have more ham. I've, I've got to. I was just going to go bad. And that's just, it seems such a travesty to let it... Um, uh, uh, you could... Um, you could dry brine some of it and then turn it into char shoe. Char shoe? I feel I should know what that is. What is that? Um, it's Chinese barbecued pork. Mm. That sounds nice. Um, he used to have a good recipe for it. Um, uh, I, I only remember this because I'm currently in the process of trying to make several different types of homemade ramen. And I'm like, hmm, do I want char or not? Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty good. And also, like, I'll give myself the biggest mug of, um, of hot chocolate in the world. Made of oat milk, so very nice. But it's like a massive fucking mug, which I just, it's like over half a litre. And when I poured it out of the, of the saucepan into it, I just spilled fucking quarter of it across the table so it's been a bad day in terms of food and drink well it's not too bad it's just not ideal i also won one of my first games of apex legends so it's um oh nice i was happy with that one i think i got lucky in like uh i basically just managed to hit all the great loot from the beginning and then just managed to snipe a whole bunch of people from afar and just seemed to work out well still haven't played that yet should probably get around to it it's soon. quite good fun like i was trying to i was trying to play um pubg for the first time in a few months and like I used to love that I game. do things I do really like it I just hate and I, I go hate's a really strong word I massively dislike the fact that I literally will walk around for about 10-15 minutes and then just super and then cool dead cool let's go to the next one and it's just like so infuriating you have to embrace the fear Mark that's what makes it so good the oh. fact that any moment could be your last well, that's my just like other people in real that's life. That's what I do like about it. But like, I don't know, man. I grew up in the I grew up in the era of of Doom, like the original Doom and Quake and Perfect Dark and Goldeneye. You, you say that like we're not of similar ages, and I also. Well, grew up yeah, yeah, yeah. But so this thing, right? I'm I'm used to the shooters where like you like your jump. Well, actually, there's not much jumping happened in those games. But like you had the crouch strafe, you know, and you like you held the C, you yeah, held yeah, the C stick yeah. to once. I said the C stick, the C button on the N64. C6 to one side, and then like your analog stick to the other side. You like do like a like tank tank <laughs> strafe around them. That was like the apex of gaming there. But like you could take a few hits, and like Apex Legends has that kind of feel where like you have cool weapons, you have like abilities, and it's quite a fun. I find it just quite, I think it's just quite fun, and it's quite nice. The movement style is really cool. Like the like the sliding is is awesome, and it's definitely not like realistic in the way that like PUBG is, but like. I, I, feel, I feel like I have funner games. It's definitely not as hard as PUBG. Like, it's definitely not as hard as PUBG. But I feel like I have more fun playing it than I do PUBG. Well, 
that's all that matters though right yeah that means that i'm still trying to play it because i want to i want to i want to do well but i feel i feel like i have I actually I play games with Apex Legends whereas PUBG I feel like I literally am walking around in the wilderness and then all of a sudden it's like ah I'm dead yeah I don't mind it so much I might try the new COD and see if that's any good because everyone said it's quite good yeah yeah and I quite like the armor system in it but nice I don't know I, for the moment I'm I'm back on the old League of Legends black hole so bleh. I've never played League of Legends I used to play it back in like season one, season two, and then it fell off because my laptop couldn't run it. And now I have a laptop that can run it. And I was like, I'll boot up and play a game for nostalgia's sake. And oh, look, it's actually surprisingly good. And now I'm compelled to climb the ladder again. People have been talking quite good things about the um, the new Magic kind of League of Legends esque sort of game. Yeah, I haven't looked at it too much, but I might check it out. Yeah. Right. Can you see my screen? Uh, I can see your screen on the stream, although it's not full sized. No, it's like down to one side. So if you did have chat, I can I can change that to look. If I go like this, well, that's gonna work shit in the world. Hmm? Is it really small? It's not really small. It's you're just not utilizing the full amount of real estate of the screen. Hmm. Hmm. I think for the, the deck building, you probably want the actual screen full size, and then when you go to play, you can reduce it slightly to have the deck list and all the nice spacings. And next to where it says Ikora Sealed, you could put the match totals and stuff. Okay, right, let's try that. Uh, let's hide that. Boop. And. God, this is so small. If you wanted to, you could put. Um, the preview screen just above you, so that whenever you highlight a car, it appears above you in big, bigger size. Yeah, let's see. Live changing of shit on screen. So good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't fiddle about. Don't fiddle about with it too much if it's going to be an issue. No, it's just. It's just personal thoughts. It's fine. It's just. Uh, it's having a moment. How are you finding the sealed format? Sealed is a lot better than draft, I'm not going to lie. Um, oh yeah, always is. i tell you what, actually I can't get it quite right. We'll, we'll keep this for the moment and then we'll... Yeah, keep the old layout. We'll do it in a second. Um, yeah man, it's... Uh, Oh, well, you've got the best card in the format in your pool, so what? that's a good... Yeah, this has actually really pissed me off multiple times. Right, let's go. Let's, um, there's been a lot of cards that just pissed me off in this format, I'm not going to lie. Uh, let's yeah. sort by rarity. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so we have Draneth. Fine. Extinction Event. Oh, we've got... F Extinction Event is... Stupid! It's such a beating. It is a beating, but it's also could also not be a beating. No, I've I've never had it not be a complete beating. I mean, I've I've played around it to the best of my abilities, but it still wipes fifty percent of your board. Uh, trample. Da, 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 da. And that's yeah, he's okay. Song of Creation. I don't think that's really going to work in draft somehow. At least not with the cards we've got, and this, which also does so, not work in draft. Uh, the cyclo absolutely works. Cyclo is very good. Really? Okay, let's. Okay, so let's. Um... The song of creation is tricky. It, I haven't decided whether it's either the most busted card in the entire format or completely unplayable. What, for seal, for, for like for limited or for. It's for sealed, yeah. Because sometimes you just play it, and then you've got six turns to win the game, but you're playing three spells a turn. And sometimes you play it and you just can't win the game in the time frame because all your good cards are already in the bin. I did lose a game the other game when the guy had literally had zero cards left in his deck. That game where the guy had the um, the Simic Beast that pays one to look at the top cards 
put if land on oh, the yeah. battlefield or if not into your hand and it was on the hand, fucking yeah. glimmer bell so literally he had so much mana at the end step he was all he was doing was just like just like twiddling it and just going through his deck i was like price okay so how's this so we're looking so sort by color and we'll take a look at the playables yeah i'm looking at something in jund at the moment so sort color let's look at let's look at the black mm -hmm. first uh it cycles your stream keeps dropping for me. I don't know if that's true of other people. Oh, I'll tell you what, I know what's happening. Let's, oh, let's pause that. I think that'll help now. I am, uh, I had my uh, folding at home going on in the background. That probably didn't help. That uh, probably yeah. didn't help me because I've got in full power as well. So that yeah. definitely. PSA for anyone who's watching this live or the VOD, if you're into that thing. Uh, folding at home is a collaborative effort where people donate their spare processing power, scientific research for data analysis, like uh, DNA chain loops, etc. So it's called folding at home. There's just Google it. As it's pretty as good. of recently, it now has more more power than the top fifteen supercomputers combined. Well, we yeah. need it. Oh, we do, and I think they're doing some quite good things. Okay, right. Yeah, John. So the, the... Pro protein. Sequencing for viruses is just incredibly data consuming. Oh yeah, right. Let's look at black. So an eight 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 for eight death touch. So we're cycling, and when it cycles, it puts death yeah. touch. That's okay. I'm not happy about it actually. This one has been really good. I've really liked this. The chittering harvester. So mutates for five. Uh, when it mutates, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Yep. That is. Decent legit cost. quite good let's um let's move this all out of the way as well for a second can we just put this into so, so i really like that this has been really good as well it's it's a lot of mana but like it can snipe off a creature and flashing in a, f a five power i'm gonna just restart the stream because you're really far behind and i can't see what you're talking about sure 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 oh, that's my uh, uh, yeah. cool uh, yeah, so we've got the Blitz Leech, which I really like. Yep. Uh, I don't know if it's main deckable, but it's a thing. It is, but it depends. Yeah. I, so what I've found from this format, mostly, is I tend to end up in three or four color, 15, 16, sometimes even 14 land decks, with just a ton of cyclers. Yeah. I mean... You, just, you know take your five best cards from each color and then prune each of the deepest three colors and then a splash from the fourth and then build a deck with it uh so extinction event definitely yeah. comes in uh bushmeat poacher i have not really hot on it's no. like you play it if you, you play it as a as a curve filler but it's not good yeah no if you have like say like a tokens go like a go wide humans maybe but like you don't i well you do have two forbidden friendships which is the, the only card in the well one of the very few cards in the set that it's good with uh grim dancer is in well not insane is very good and you always play it if you're yeah, face it's, black it's a, it's a it's a three mana three three with either menace or death touch menace and life link or it's death touch like it's, it's absurd it's that's menace and death touch is usually yeah, the way to go there three mana it's, it's really good for an uncommon uh this i quite like it's it's three four for three across two bodies it's just kind of fine okay. pangolin i'm a bit met on Very good. Uh, this is an interesting one i Pangolin, pangolin's a good cyborg card by the way but i try not to main deck it but you can if you have to so this is kind of like a zooport cut through as if it's not really on a creature but it makes a one one itself yeah, I've seen it, and again, we could. Then there's definitely potential for like a black red forbidden friendships bastion of remembrance deck here. I mean, again, def it definitely. Uh, if you're if you're running that, you're probably in the same deck as the poachers, but that's nice. Heartless mm -hmm. act. Again, whether it's a great removal spell in the format, very, but like it's a. I'd be very unimpressed. Really, with, like super impressed with heartless act. I guess it kind of depends on what. It, it, 
there are so many counters. There's like plus one, plus one counters and menace counters and lifelink counters and trample counters that often it just doesn't kill the thing you want it to kill. It's good early on when your opponent's playing vanilla enablers for their mutate effects, but as soon as you get up to turn five or six and people are cycling and putting counters on stuff, it's just worthless. Yeah. Uh... Mutual destruction bugged on Modo still. Really? Okay. Yeah, you can't play it. At, so you can't play it at flash speed even if you have a creature with flash. Bear that one in mind. It's all right. I just don't like sacrificing creatures in this format, and dead weight. Straight up. Bone splinters isn't good unless you're a token. Exactly, uh, and dead weight, which is sideboard at best. Um, at best. Okay, so we've got some tokeny kind of things in this sort of thing. So black is okay. Um, let's look at red. So we've got the unpredictable cyclone, but well, that'll depend on what we've got. Um, Clash of Titans, I've really liked. Like I did not <laughs> when it first got cast. I did not realize it's just two creatures. Not just your creature fights one of their creatures, and like no, it's, I got um, it's a reprint of the card from Innistrad, which was four mana sorcery. Two creatures fight each other, um, so they've attacked on an extra mana. A one like red pip, for instance. Just fair. Like I have been like fully blown out by this one, like really badly blown out by this. When you get just when mm. you get like two massive creatures, and they just just so happen that fighting would kill both of them, like. I really, I really like it. It's, it's expensive removal, but like I've just, it's been. It's, it's decent. I, I've had it slightly underperform again. I, I've had it perform really well for me and not very well against me. But that's because my opponents tend to play dorky, like the two-one bootlicker or whatever it's called, um, that has death touch. And a, a lot of people are obsessed with playing low one or two CMC death touch creatures because they think they're really good, but they're they're not in this format. Partly because they just don't trade efficiently. Partly because Clash of Titans means that you can kill them mm. and them on. Uh, Cloud Pisser, I do like. Cloud Pisser is great and splashable in yeah. the extreme. Ferocious Tigerilla is also just a good body. Plus, it. Curve yeah. Curve Filler, yeah. This I've been blown out. If you're in the cycling deck, my opponent had three of these fucking things the prickly marmosets. And I <laughs> literally I got I got run down by the, by the red cycling deck very, very quickly. I think I was dead by turn five and I was very upset. Uh, Red cycling is very good in draft. Less good in sealed, but we do have unpredictable cycling. I, mean, I haven't, I haven't so seen a huge amount of cycling though, so that's uh, I'm a bit meh yet. Uh, well, most of the cycling is white or green. Frenzied Raptor is meh. Uh, go for Bloods. Kind of fine. It cycles. It's okay. Uh, Forbidden Friendships. This one is like create a one-one red dinosaur, which and the okay. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty good. We got two of them. That's it is pretty de pretty decent. I hate the art on this. Like I really hate the art on this. But um, we we haven't finished building the deck, so we don't know if we've got the lurchery conditions enabled. But we'll probably get there. This we don't have oh, many we jewels. Have loads of the of the cycling payoffs. This like the the Dranov Stinger. Again, that's uh, very very good in draft and not great in sealed. It's just a two two for two and sealed which is not where you want to be it does cycle so it's very good with un with unpredictable cycling specifically because you cycle it away and hope to hit like a big green fatty mm. but Classic yeah. reunion is decent uh okay. <sighs> blitz on i don't think we're going to be blitz on not rapturing anyone uh not unless you end up blue. Only, only blue really has enough. Plus one and a, um, and a, and a first strike counter can be okay. And that I quite like the blister spit gremlin or the heart the heart and reflexes. The uh, uh, heightened yeah. reflexes. Blister spit gremlin is meh. Uh, it's an, a very very it's meh. An expensive uh, thermal alchemist. It's a one man of one one that lets you mutate. Don't don't really play it for the ability. Even if you're in a very good spell space deck, it's not worth it in sealed. So we got some cool things in red. I'm not like super excited, but we got some cool things. Um, we got three adventure imp uh, adventurous impulses in green, which is pretty good. Good. That helps with splashing as well as just well just digging in general. Uh, the rest of our green is pretty awful though. Uh, Reach counter crap. Pretty very, 
pretty very old. Cycling Wilt, that's meh. Fully Grown is meh. 2-4 Vigilance, 2-4 Vigilance. This is good. The uh, the Rampy one. The Ramp the ramp Mutate. And then yeah. 2 Dead all 6 6s that gain you 4 life. Yeah, so green is... Green is not good. It's just annoying because those Adventurous Impulses are really nice, but I just don't think there's anything that's exciting in green. To say the least. Um... Oh, we do. I'll go back to in a second. Uh, let's look at blue, which is tiny. Yeah, blue. Blue, we're not playing. Uh, thriving Opter, Start of Eminence, Keepsafe, Hands of Snare, Glimmer Bell, Anticipate. Yeah, Anticipate's nice, but I don't think there's anything in green blue that we really want. Is that your phone? No, that's someone driving outside. <laughs> Uh, ah, we've got um, a thingy in um, chat. <laughs> I said thingy in chat. Rocky Lop. Shimmer. Shimmer. Yeah. Uh, yes, let's look at white. So we have Coordinated Charge, which I can let's move all this shit to the sides. And let's. We have a, a two mana cycler. Are we actually be playing cycling? <laughs> okay, so Garrison Cat. I actually kind of like Garrison Cat, but again, that's that's we could very well actually be playing tokeny things here. Garrison Cat is is good and dependent on how good your mutate creatures are, because again, there's some value to be had from playing like one mana one one mutate one mana one one mutate targets, but as a card on their own, you would never normally play it in a limited environment, particularly sealed, um, maybe in draft. Mm. But. Uh, Divine Arrow is pretty premium. Uh, yeah. This Dranith Magistrate is it's... fairly useless to us, but it's a nice card to have. The Several is a good mutate target, but it's a bit met otherwise. Pacifism is nice to have. I will say about Magistrate, it is worth keeping in mind as a sideboard card in case someone has a very good companion. Yeah. I mean, to make companion is pretty difficult, though, right? Um, I don't know. I, it depends on the companion. Um, what what's the five mana flyer? Yar, I can't. It's like Yarrick, but it's not Yarrick. Yari. <laughs> but it yeah. plays in Yarrick. Um, that one, that one is super easy um, because you just play a sixty card deck and then you have a five mana or three five flyer always available. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Valiant Res Rescuer is yeah, Yarion. Yeah, Yorion. Yorion. Yeah. Uh, this is really good. The rescuer is very good. I say very good. It's okay. It's, okay. it's also it's cycled. Oh, we actually have we, we, yeah. That, that's what makes shit, it. We okay. actually have quite a fair <laughs> bit of cycling in the white here. That the the fact that it cycles makes it actually like reasonably good, and you play it in your deck if you're white, as opposed to the vanilla two mana three one cat that you just never play if you can avoid it. Um, will will of all hunter actually I kind of like. Yeah, it, it cycles for two mana. It does. What's not to like? I mean, I, I think it has other texts as well, but it cycles <laughs> for two mana. Uh, Helica Glider. Yeah, that's a that's a good creature to mutate yeah. onto. It's actually locked down. What does this do? Humans get plus one, plus one. Tap to mm. tap to two, and if you tap my humans, I'm not sure we've got enough humans to make that work, but it's... Actually, maybe we well, do. Well, if we, if we end up white-red, we'll have... White humans. humans. I mean, look, but well, I, kind of, I like I like some of black. Usually you don't play it. Usually it's a big no-no. Yeah. But uh, spontaneous flight. I've actually kind of quite liked it, but usually it's on D. It's on it's I... on D. Uh, yeah. Not a fan. Well, the day score. Uh, day score marshal. I like that. Well, no, no, uh, off flight. I'm day score marshal is okay. I've I've it's a little. I've 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 pretty much brought it in on the sideboard because there's usually a flyer that's getting in for two for two damage that I can't stop. So uh, this I kind of like the liger. Hmm. Uh, the flying fox I do also really like that can get out of hand, but again if you only have enough mutate, uh, and then another coordinated charge, which is pretty good. Okay, so I quite like our white, and I quite like our red, and I like a little bit of our black. But looking at 
Let's have a look at the colours and multicoloured stuff. So, we have... Let's... Okay, so let's look just through here. Uh, we've got the Cunning Knight Bonder, which is just an okay 2-2 two, two, flash for two. I'll put it in the black pile. We have a loot tree, um, which can go in the red pile. I think it's a fine, good spell. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to make the conditions of it. We have Channel Force, which is going to be in blue, which can't really do that. But the, the uh, Sonorous Hole Bonder is a nice little beta. And I think something I've asked to give actually Menace to something else as well. Uh, something in there did. Uh, yeah, the Ferocious Tiger Gorilla. I really like that card. I think it's very, very good. Uh, what? Howlbunder? Yeah. Howlbunder's a pain. It's, 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 it's a fucking pain, pain in the ass. Uh, we have the Quartz Crusher, but I don't. We, we have no green that we really want to play. Which is a shame because it's. Well, let's let's keep that one with the red pile, because I'm thinking we might end up white red cycling, and then we can splash either black or green depending on which you feel better. We've got two far finders, so our mana is going to be quite good. Uh, we have the thunder main, which is pretty decent, and the regal Leo saw, which is all right. It's all right, but those are two on color, on color gold cards. The ace was, the not bad, but Thunder Main is pretty insane. Sure. Um, unfortunately, we didn't pick up any of the black um, give creature death touch counters or give creature a death touch effects, which makes Thunder Main just insane. Yes, it would, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, the joke is you you cycle to and then put. Actually, no, we do. We have. Do we? Let's have a look. What's the what's the eight mana? Um, oh one, yeah, we, the we do have the eight, the eight mana one, the Void Beckoner. Then you and you yeah. cycle it to put a Death Cards. Yeah, you cycle you cycle it to put a counter on, uh, and then pay the two. And it's fine. We just we just, we just... To and then every time you cycle, you just kill something. Okay, well that's. Yeah. And I think that's that might actually just be worth splashing if we end up white red. Just the one black card, the Void Beckoner for that effect. Yeah. And extinct, actually extinction. I think event, we, have a, we have a few fairly. If, if with this, we actually it makes. Mutual Destruction is a... Seeing some of our white and red, Mutual Destruction is a lot better. Um, I think we have a fair amount of token creators. Anyway, what's down here? Marks our thick scene of the shit. Uh, so, Dismal Backwater, meh. Evolving Wilds, good. Always happy. Very happy to have Evolving Wilds. Uh, Scoured Barons, which will help the splash. Formal to fall. Two Core Finders is good. Cove. Two mysterious, mysterious eggs. Spring jaw trap. I don't like this card very much, but it's on color. It's just colorless removal. But um, you play it if you're light on removal, or if you have. Um, it's not terrible in the white red deck if you have the five man chance cycler, which we have, because then you can cycle the crystal to get the trap. Right. But there are generally better things that you Sleep can do. Sleep Dot, I do kind of like. Just many, many just because it draws a fucking card. Um, but have we got enough cycling as it is? Two Far Finders is brilliant to have. And a not helpful crystal, but it cycles. Um, it's, it's, I can't see which one. Uh, it's uh, Abzan. Actually, that is quite helpful because if we end up white, red, splash, either black or green, then that helps fix. That is true. That is true. Actually, it is, it is basically a white, a white mana lock for us. Oh, and it also cycles, which you know, if we're in the cycling deck, then you can, you can shove in every card with cycling if you really want to. I would not recommend it. <laughs> I mean, yes. Okay, let's move the green out to one side. Uh, we're not playing channeled force or song creation. Uh, let's move to one side. Let's move this over here. have very different styles of sorting I know, stuff. sorry, my mind's a little bit kind of higgledy piggledy. Uh, um, okay. For anyone who's for anyone who's watching, um, which at the moment I think is just Shamir, but watching later, a really good person to watch for sealed technique and sealed deck building is Michael Jacob, which who's Darkest Mage on Twitch. Um, 
because he's done like tutorials on this is how to build decks in terms of laying out stuff and time efficiency. You see, I'm not efficient with my time, Pat. You are very not efficient. No, with I'm terrible time, time management, man. <laughs> this is why, when it comes to like my um, uh, my health and safety inspections, last time I literally was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna go home, have dinner, I went straight back into work, and I worked throughout the middle of the night to get everything in order. Had my inspection, I just fucked off at three. Anyway, uh, okay. So let's look at this white red deck. Okay, I'll put the black off to one side for a second. Well, just pull the pull all the white and red into the the actual deck down below, because we'll want to sort it by type. Uh, let's take that. Let's move it out. Thank you. God, my um, uh, Mick guy is having a bad time for some reason. We have a luch. It's probably upset what you're trying to get it to do. Possibly. Right, we've got Luchi in there as well. Because it's on a red. Yeah. Okay. So, let's uh, group creatures separately. Um, shove the two far finder in as well. Where you at? Okay. So, we've got this... I just want to cut this blister grim, I really hate it. <laughs> I just dislike it. Uh, there's a garrison cat. I think Joanna stays in the sideboard. I don't think there's any real reason to have it main board. So, there's a couple of things we could do. We could lean into a human's build, or we can focus on cycling. And I think we should base... I think we should... You know, cut Sanctuary Lockdown and most of the other random stuff and just go very all in on the cycling. Mm. Cycle, cycles. That can bugger off. Cathartic Union's these. Forbidden mm -hmm. Friendship, I think, is kind of fine to have at the moment. Cycles. Uh, do we actually really want the heightened reflexes? I'm not sure this deck really does m well with uh, it. If, if we're going cycling, then we probably don't. I also, I just don't um, think any like. We'll put it in the put it with the blitz because that and the blitz are very maybe for me. Yeah. Also, just because something has cycling doesn't mean we're going to play it anyway. I'm I'm looking at these will of all hunters and coordinated charge and feeling very mad. I mean, yeah, so I agree with Shamir here. Like, I I'm really liking like this. This thing is in here looking very good. Uh, Coordinate Charge I think is fine, Clash of Titans looks fine, Cyclone, if we're doing um, uh, cycling, it's fine. Will of Hunter, that's what I'm kind of happy with our, with our two drop spells. Although we've got fucking eight I might of them. cut the Forbidden Friendships. Yeah. If we're not, if we're not going in on humans, then we probably just don't care about two bodies. I think we'd bring it in if we brought in black, maybe. We have, yeah, we we'll, have the idea. we're just looking at the we're looking at the core white red, and then we're definitely going to be splashing one of or both black and green, and we'll just see sort of which which direction we're leaning in. I think. Mm. Uh, so we've got the two far finders. Okay, so let's go for, let's go for these creatures then. So up the top, we've got cloud piercer. So cut cut garrison cat and frenzied raptor for a start. Oh yeah, fuck that shit. Off it goes. Uh, Prickly Marmoset is actually pretty decent here. Prickly Marmoset's good. Lutri. Lutri's still playable. Yeah. I mean, we could we could actually enable his condition if we really wanted to by cutting a Stinger, a Rescuer, and one of the Willable Hunters, and it might actually be worth doing that. Stinger is is good and, it, and very good in this. We've also deck, got to cut the far finder though. That's true. And if we want to splash the other colours, the far finder is going to be really important. Well, we depends on which one, because we've got an evolving worlds, and I think we have one on colour jewel. So, uh, Holbonder. 
pretty much just, it's what other menace tiger we, we might be cutting tiger <laughs> i actually quite like tiger but like um, uh... i i like tiger but i think this isn't the deck for it i think we want to cycle aggressively till we hit unprecedented cyclone so then and we're then... possibly getting rid of how Hal bonder then how Hal bonder yeah it's also worth noting that you do need you can't just have all cycling gods you do need a way to win so we want at least one big creature to cycle into from our unpredictable cycle well i mean that's why we probably want to be bringing in green or black isn't it well that, that's why i'm thinking we probably want to be playing green for the 8-8 trampler or the 6-6 six, six trampler and we could also the, put it in a couple of the 8-8 the, the, the eight mana 6-6 six, six, six. gorilla puts a trample counter on something mm. <laughs> yeah that's not really <laughs> uh Okay, I still really like this flying fox. Whatever happens, I really like the yeah, flying fox. Yeah, fox is fine. Although we don't have many targets for its mutate ability. Uh, One, this two, several cat is actually three, a, it's a bit it's a four, five, six. I think we've got enough. Hmm. I mean, otherwise, otherwise, uh, several, several, several's going bye bye. By yeah. the way. But it's got vigilance. Um, I'm not particularly excited about this. Just Marshall should probably also get cut. What are you not excited about? I didn't just see glider Street. as well. Yeah, uh, glider and Marshall can both probably go. But it just doesn't really seem very. We're not a mutate deck, and the we're not a mutate or a humans deck, and that's a good target. Also, we're we're talking a lot about we're not this deck or that deck. That doesn't really apply in limited, in sealed specifically. You just build a deck with your best cards. Um, but we actually have a very strong theme here, so we should probably lean into it if we can, which we're doing. Yeah. Okay. How about let's bring in some other things and think what we're cutting from this. Okay, so, so this, this, let's bring the in crasher. the Crasher, Extinction Event, and the Black Cycler. So nothing else in here we want out of black. I think Mutual Destruction could be good, but I'd rather sideboard it than have it as the starter. The Grim um, Dance is too much to splash, this... unfortunately. I think we can probably build a secondary deck as well. Um, Blit Blitz Leech is actually quite good because you can cycle into it for an instant speed minus two minus two, but it's not what we're after. Um, let's have a quick look at green. Is there anything relevant? Uh, Adventures Impulse. There's a cycling instant, but meh. Nah. Um, we're not we're not set on splashing both green and black Shamir, but I have found quite a lot of success in this format in building. 15 or 16 land decks with three colors and a splash of a fourth. Um, Heartless Act is not quite premium in limited, unfortunately, because so many decks have big creatures with counters on them, either plus one, plus one counters, or they're being given count counters by cycling effects, that it often isn't effective as a removal spell. It's You still play it, and it, we might end up splashing it if we don't have enough main deck removal, but it may very well be I've, in. I've cut it in multiple games just because it has no good targets let's bring in some second we'll see what we want um yeah you can bring it in for now we might end up taking i mean i th i think we could probably look at building a second deck maybe out of this as well i think i i, yeah, I, we're, I we're think we're gonna build at least two decks I, I think there's i think we could we could there's there's very much maybe a um, uh, black white red tokeny build Exactly. We're, we're going to build that as our secondary yeah. deck, and possibly also um, just straight black red. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let's shove these into the piles. So looking here, I whacked in the the crystal as well. I can go down here. It's not a thing. Yeah. Where is the map? There we go. I. We have in terms of removal here. Go for. 
don't think Go for Blood is doing very much in our deck. Mm. I mean, it's it, the only thing it's doing for our deck is it cycles. That's literally it. And what can we cycle? If you had the that's if we had the cyclone, you can cycle into an extinction event, maybe. Pascal. I'm not sure Go for Blood's doing much in that deck. And the fact the way mutate works, you can't really, they can't really get blown out with mutate. I would I would probably cut some number of Will of the All Hunt Hunter before I cut the Go for Blood because it cycles for less. Yeah, one cy cycling for one is actually not something that could be like snuffed at. Mm. Mind you, we still will make three cuts out of this deck at least. We might be able to get away with two. What, 15 lands? Well, I say no, our, our curve no. is pretty low. 50, 15 lands, I think something stupid like 80 plus percent of our deck cycles. So we really only care about hitting two mana to get to the cycling part and then that'll get us to three mana which will get us to far finder which gets us to four mana and that's really all we need because our deck curve stops at five. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll allow you on that one. I'll allow you on that one. I've, I've noticed a lot of people are building classical mana bases in this format of 17 and 18 lands. And as you might personally know, Mark, I'm a huge fan of playing 18 plus mana sources in any sealed deck. Um, and I often go up to like 19 so or 20. I play 16 and 41 or 42 cards. I'm like, it works out. But <laughs> no, I, I don't quite do that. But yeah, in this, this format, because of just how much cycling there is, hitting excess lands and you, you know you don't have mana sinks in this format. There's nothing that you can really sink eight mana into on turn eight that isn't a creature that you haven't already cycled on turn two. Yeah. Um. This is very an this is very anti War of the Spark because War of the Spark had a similar thing where you had a mass, but in that format you really wanted to get to a high mana total so that you could you know, multi-spell, and there was a bunch of card draw, and then you could amass and pay for stuff, whereas in this format you really don't want to hit more than 5 or 6 mana because if you do, they're just dead cards. Yeah. Uh... Saying that, also just looking at my stream, I don't think the chat box is actually working. Which is quite... It was working. It... I could see um, Shamir on it for a bit. But when you, when you type something, comes up and then after a minute that fades away. That's annoying. It doesn't stick around. That's annoying. I don't want that. Anyway, continue. Let's continue. Um, right. So, here is a question. We could cut a stinger, a rescuer, a will, had the Farfinder to have Lurty as our companion. I don't think that makes our deck any better. I also don't think it makes our deck any better. I think the Stingers are going to be too important. Can be, uh, the, Will of All, the Will of All Hunters I'm not keen on. Um, also, we should definitely cut Coordinated Charge. Yeah, I don't think we're getting wide enough on this one. It does cycle no. for two. Coord it does cycle for two, but we have... Enough cyclers. Quite, like... I wouldn't say we have enough cyclers. You can never have enough cyclers in this kind of deck, but it's the worst of the two mana cyclers that we have. This unpredictable cyclone, are we doing anything busted with it? Um not that's that's not Yes and that's no. it. it's not really like a like a thing like saying like, well, we have to do something busted for it to make it good, but like no. What we're what we're really hoping to do is cycle something like a willable hunter into an extinction event if necessary or um, a clash of titans or cycle one of our two drops into quartzwood crasher or cloud piercer to get back the cycler to then recycle for quartzwood crasher i mean yeah but at that point we're already at five we're, all, we're already at five mana like it's not, it's not it's not as if like we're like doing that on turn two or three you know we're doing, we're doing it on turn six yeah which like may not be bigger than what other people are just doing naturally 
true. Our real win condition is going to be Thunder Main. Because, you know, wiping the opponent's board is a very good thing to do if you, you can. Do you need a bunch of mana to do that there? Um, only three or four. Yeah. And as, I, as we've got two foxes, it's going to be quite easy to get up to four mana. Like we, as long as we keep a hand with two mana, then cycling will find us a third, and then eventually we'll get a fox, and that's four mana, and then we're off to the races. Yeah. Uh, you, I know Thundermane can't hit face, but if you give it death touch and start wiping out their board, then you don't care about hitting their face when you can just hit them with dorky two twos. I have seen it do insane work. I mean, it's not a win condition in the classical sense, in that it's not a 4-4 flyer or a 5-5 trampler or better, but it is a threat that demands an answer from your opponent, and, you know, they don't always have it. And if they do have it, well, then they've spent more mana on your 2-2, on your 2-drop, than you presumably spent casting it and you hopefully got a bunch of value out of it in the meantime. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, for, like, again, like Shamu was saying, like, Thunder Main does not hit face, which is a real thing. The Stinger does. Hmm. But Stinger's only, like, one, one ping at a time. Adds up. Brick and Marvel Sickle Stingers. Okay. Well, okay. So we've got we've got to cut one, maybe two things out of this. Yeah. I am actually surprisingly tempted to, to cut this cycling, just because by itself does not very much. But I could probably I would cut say the cathartic reading first. Really? Mm-hmm. Cathartic reading is so good though. But we're not enabled. We don't have any. Graveyard synergies, really. I think you have to have graveyard our synergies only, to make it good. Like, our only one discard is... like two lands and draw three other cards, or draw or something that's particularly useless. Yeah, but you're saying discard two lands, like we're going to be flooded. No, we're not going to be flooded. But like, the whole but point like, is to not. The whole point is to not. No, be but I could be. I could see. I could see us sat there with like, like. Well, actually, as I say, because most of these things cycle themselves, so it's not that terrible. Yeah, maybe you're right there. Cathartic reunions is a decent card, and you know we have Cloud Piercer, which sort of helps, but. We we don't want to be spending two mana to cycle through three cards when we could individually cycle those cards and gain bonus benefits from doing so. Like most of our deck is cycling except for the lap and a couple of the key spells. So if we cathartic reunion our cyclers, that's wasted value. And if we cathartic reunion our key spells, well, they're only in there because they're key spells and we want to cast them, not cycle them all. Yeah, and Schmidt's right. It is, a, it is a terrible top deck. Yeah, okay, sold me. Uh, and then maybe one more, which I'd be tempted on go for blood, even though it's a really cheap cycler. I'd probably cut Heart of Sack first myself, but remind me what Harp, Harp, um, Huntmaster Laguerre does. Struggling to Where remember. is it? Just above uh, the Flying Fox in the 4 mana slot. When this creature mutates, other creatures you control get plus X plus X. So I don't which is X the number of times this is mutated, which is not great. We only have one other mutate creature. Yeah, we've got three, four mutates. You got the regal like uh, Meliator. Uh, yeah. Which is not many, and we're not really going wide as well, to be honest. Yeah, I'd probably cut that. Four mana, three, four, with, which gives our creatures plus one, plus one is okay, but not really where we want to be. Okay. Let's add the mana into this one. So, Scout Barons of Olden Wilds. Much all the fixing we have, apart from also the crystal. Would you like to take a guess on what basic lands they have here? And Mind you. Uh, 
So one forest, one swamp. Um, got twelve left. I'd probably go seven. S seven mountains, five plains, two swamps, or three swamps. No, no, one one swamp. Don't re oh, we've got the scar barons. Well, they suggest. Yeah. yeah. Why the f oh, no, I wasn't going for what they suggest. I'm just going what I would suggest. Yeah, and I was going to see how close you got to what they suggest. They put an island, which annoyed me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, I still have two swamps and it's fine, right? We don't need two swamps. We've got Evolving Worlds, Ash two, Barons, Crystal, two and vines. two foxes. Yeah, fine, fuck it. So, one swamp will give us... Uh, Th um, four and two half sources, which is more well. Ideally, we'd like another half source or a full source, but I we ideally like another half source, but I don't think it's worth playing a full source for. Okay. Particularly as we're going to be mana light anyway. So six planes, yep. one swamp, eight mountains, one forest. How much does that add out to be? That's sixteen. We don't want sixteen. That's too many. Yeah, we'll cut, cut a plains and a Dink. mountain. Okay. That is one deck. Let's say that's our primary deck. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at humans or titans. So, for this, I let's whack in all the things that make us token. So I'm still going to say fuck off to green and yeah. Just take all the red and all the black and shove it into the deck, and then we'll we'll just cut it from the deck. So you think it's red black? I'm thinking like white black. It might end up being, it could end up being some combination of all these three colors. I think black has the best payoffs, and red has the best enablers. Was it? Let Let's just go down for each pit, each each list of what shows with a go wide tokeny kind of strategy. Okay, sure. so call it charge would makes it in. Volky, mm -hmm. I'll put this in like a kind of mutate pile just here in the middle. Just my skin. Okay, that makes it in. Plus one flight, I actually kind of like in a, in a tokeny kind of thing. Humans get plus one. Earth blood, uh, mm -hmm. no. Uh, pumpy spell that cycles communication for moments. Rescuer, rescuer. Pathogens is fine. Vigilance, no. Human, I don't know. Go whitey. Okay, and then down here, blip is red. Extinction that gets in. The bush meat poster becomes a lot better. Yeah, but we still might not be playing them. No, but draws a card when you sacrifice. You basically put a blocker in front of them and then just draw a card. Grim Dance can get can get I in. Knights of Khan for one can that cannot. The Bastion Remnants to gets in. Mm -hmm. Heartless Mutual Destruction gets in. Dead weight still meh. Heartless Act probably gets in. Uh, I put yeah, I put Heartless Act in there as well, yeah. Um, and then if we look at the reds, it's no clash. Void Beckner is, is also an include. Oh, yeah, sorry. In it goes. Plow Pierce, I'm going to shove. I'm going to make a little pile. I was making a little kind of mutated pile. I'm going to do a mutate pile there. We're, we're not going to have enough for mutate, unfortunately. No, I'm just putting like things. Prickly Marmoset, I don't think gets into this one. Well, that being said, it's still a 2 3 first strike and a 3 with potential upsides. It's, but potential. If we're red white, if we're red white, we're still including it because we still have a bunch of like free white cyclists. Go for it doesn't. Forbidden Friendship does get in. Sting and May get in. I'll put them there. Cathartic Reunion doesn't get in. Blitz probably doesn't. What's Heartless Reunion? Let's just ignore that. That gets in. Uh, 
tempted to say that Sleeper Dark gets an edge, to be honest. Also, it's two Mysterious Eggs. It's interesting. But we still don't have anything near enough in terms of mutating this. Both of our finders again. Yeah. Such a good card. Ah, so good. Anything that, that works well with Flicker, I love. You know me. I remember when... I remember when people thought Pilgrim's Eye was terrible. They're like, yeah, it's a three mana one one. Why would you ever play it? I'm like, don't understand. Okay, so looking at this, looking at this, I am less confused than our primary deck by a by a significant I would, margin. I would want some more of these. I would want some more commodity charges and possibly some more token producers because I don't think we have enough. Yeah, I don't think we can build this unless we have another Bastion of Remembrance. Why you and well, yeah. I mean, the Valiant Revelers better in our other deck. We didn't cut that, did we? Yeah. No, we've got both of them in there. Wish we approach that again. I just don't like that card. I just don't think it's what you want to be doing. The Valiant Rescuers are the reason why, like, I was, we were debating qu cutting coordinated charge from the other deck because it's good with the Rescuer. Mm. Oh, um, helpful hint, uh, Modo interaction. Tokens count as even CMC for extinction event and other effects. Sorry, say again? Tokens are even. Yeah, yeah. Help. To tokens are even, which is super tilting. Yeah, it brings up a good thing point. Did we did we cut coordinated charge from our um, uh, our original deck? I think we ended up doing so, and I'm having second thoughts about yeah. it. Yeah, uh, it is it is good with rescue, and that might be worth playing it in place of um, one of the willable hunt hunters. I'm not really liking the look of this white black at all. Like at all. No. There's nothing powerful it's doing. I don't think it's going wide enough, nor is it beating down enough. It Yeah, it's not going wide enough, it doesn't have any late game. No. Cool. Well that's that one. That's And it that's... doesn't doesn't really have any velocity no. either. Whereas our prim our primary deck's all about is very all in on velocity. Right. Is there anything else you want to look at? I, I know they're even paper to Shamir, but it, it's super tilting to me that something with CMC0 is considered even because it just upsets my mathematical principles. Can you divide 0 by 2? That, that's not relevant, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything else we want to look at? Hmm... Short the entire deck by color again. And we'll just skim through. And and load up the primary deck as well, because let's face it, <laughs> that's what we're gonna be playing. Uh, because... I won't say if this comes a thing in Portal, it's too much mana for it to be to be that good, but what what a thing? The Petreon three six hex proofy seems all right. Um, it's six it's six mana. It's a lot of mana. I mean, you might what what decks are realistically casting it other than Tron? And Tron has better, you know, mana things. Yeah. You're not playing it in Delver. You're not playing it. You you could play it in a blue based control deck, but why are you tapping out on turn six in your blue based control deck? Probably a blue green deck. But that's probably better thing to be doing yeah, with, your, with your green man as well. Yeah, like going infinite <laughs> with free from the real. Uh, what mutate creatures do we have? Let's look at our mutate creatures. We have cloud piercer, fox. Flying Fox. Uh, where am I looking at this? Do, 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 do. Where's my Fox? Oh, it's in the. Okay, that's. Um, I just opened up this pile here, so I've got all of it. Uh, okay, come on. Let's move that away. Right. 
right. Um, okay, let's cut. Let's cut one of the will of all hunters for no, the coordinated charge in the main. Okay, deck. remind me to do it in a second. We'll do it in a second. Yeah. yeah. Uh, where's that fox thing gone again? We have Mighty Gearhorn in green, nothing in blue, two white mutate effects, Cloud Piercer in red, yeah. Yeah, nothing exciting. Really nothing exciting. Red, green. I don't think we have a red, green deck, sadly. Green green has adventurous impulses, which are good, and nothing else. I mean, almost literally nothing else. It's It's got the four mana rampant growth guy, but that's about it. Yeah, it's just pretty. I'm yeah, I know. I'm I'm fairly mere on this on our on our on our kind of pile here because like the green, not green. Uh, red, red, white is not my, not my dealio. Plus no mythics. I don't really think we have a different a different deck to play out of this. We may do. I don't think we have. Um, a, I don't think we have. We, a, we may have to sideboard around our opponent's well, stuff, yeah. but I think. I don't. I don't think we, we have don't. a legit uh, deck to go into. Right. What were we cutting for that uh, coordinated charge? Uh, Will of all hunter. Yeah. One of them. Yeah. Uh, let's just have a quick skim through. We have yeah, three the same, but... main deck creatures with mutate, and how many available targets do we have? Foxes. We've got that, that, Lutri, Farfinder, Marmoset, Volcrofi. We we have more more mutate targets than we do non mutate targets. We have four non mutate yeah. targets. So what I'm what I'm looking at is the cloud piercer and what we're putting what we're mutating onto that would make it better. But we ha we do have two far finder. So far finder into find our fourth land, mutate the far finder with cloud piercer is actually not a bad line. Yeah, I mean the ideal is to shove it on the um, uh, the fox. The fox is the, is is the best the best mutate target by far. Well, the fox is also our best mutator. Oh, yeah. So we're probably going to be mutating something with our fox to give it flying to get over probably our um crasher the cloud piercer you want to shove on a different card you don't you you want to try and avoid overloading mutate on the same creature but it just leaves you liable to getting blown out yeah yeah i'm thinking of Cloud Piercer in exchange for a Cycler, but I think having it in the deck is good. A 5 mana 5 4 is sort of the mana I think our deck's looking for, and the fact that we can cast it on turn 4 and turn our 3 3 into a 5 4 haste is not terrible. Right. Let's ship it. Yep. Yeah? Yeah. I'm getting a slight echo on my end now. I would mutate, I'd mutate, I'd mute the Twitch chat maybe. Right, mm. let's sort something out. I'll just make sure this deck is correct. Yeah, this is very medium minus as a deck, Shamir. Right, locking it in. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Game one. So this goes. We've also got the pauper challenge in the uh, forty-nine minutes. I may not be on that one. I've got to, I've got a. A. Hi, Skullmead. Hello. I've got a JJ Rabbit. JJ Rabbit? JJ some. Uh, haven't, haven't seen JJ yet. JJ is on Adventure on Skype tonight. It's on. Uh, watch long. Right, let's move that chat away so we get some. Oh, um. I think I might have told everyone else. Uh, I need to post it on the group, but uh, Tuesday, Dan and I are doing board games as our theme for the round. Oh, that's an interesting one. Uh, we've rolled the die roll, so we'll go first. Naturally. And we have a hand. I am not excited about our hand. But we have a rescuer and a stinger. But only two white sources. I, I think it's okay. We've got two cyclers. Unfortunately, the ball. Well, one one of them I want to be actually playing. In fact, I won't be playing both of these. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, don't don't fall into that trap. Oh, I don't know, man. Like we're not casting like three of these spells anytime soon. Have faith. We'll hit a fox, and then our hands just completely open. Okay, right. We'll keep it. Okay. Playing ship back. Again, I'm going to be pressing just the one. That was a, okay, that was a six there that time I pressed it, but like, I think I was fairly safe. I have actually lost two two matches. Oh, they've got a foil triome. Remember to cycle the stinger. Oh, I don't want to cycle the stinger. I want to play a Valiant Rescuer, and then I'll cycle the stinger next turn. Okay, I can get on board. Or at least get some value out of it. We're still hitting our land drops. And we've hit the black, which is nice. What does this one do? Wow, they have literally four colours of mana now. The bastards. Yeah, I mean... <gasps> we hit the They might fox. only be... Okay, am I gonna get? I told you. I told you, Mark. Have faith. Am I gonna get blown out by attacking this rescuer? Uh, no. There are no two mana creatures with flash in this uh, format. Well, there, the, there are. Well, a there lot are. Of There's the two mana two two human with flash. There's nothing that we don't want to trade with. Oh, let me rephrase that. Okay, I'm gonna attack. Um. This format has a lot of flash cards, so if your opponent has three or four open mana, particularly if they're blue, generally you want to be very careful about attacking into it. But uh, right. okay, I'm gonna go to attack. I played the black just in case something silly happens, but yeah. And then we we fox up a red source. Scatter. Yep, that's in scatter. The, the stream is slightly behind. <laughs> did you get? Did you get the? Um... That's okay. Yeah, I got the fucking bastards. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I assume they essence scattered you, and then a second later, oh look, essence scattered. Um, that's not terrible. It's not terrible. It's not ideal. I mean, we'd we'd like to have had a red source, but it's fine. If they want to essence scatter our one one, um, rampant growth, that's okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna play the scout brands and probably just pass the turn. I don't think there's anything else yeah. we really want to be doing. I'm not going to trade that fucking thing. No. Also, if they um, play like a five drop in a couple of turns, we might just be extinction eventing it away. Yeah. Do 
do remember to cycle the stinger this time though. Not the void beckoner? Mm, no, we want to save the void beckoner to put on our um, trampler. Three two. Our trampler would be nice. Either our trampler or our or our machine gun bastard. Knockoff version of walking ballista. Yeah, draw another plane, it's cool. Alright. Draw another stinger. That's alright. I do kind of want to play that one though. Uh, okay, I'm, we I'm should attack him with the human. Probably cycle it away. Yeah, attack him with the human and cycle the beckoner. Uh, cycle the stinger because you might hit a red land source that you want to play this turn. The stinger is such good reach though. I mean, we we want to cycle aggressively. If we just sit here burning our mana, doing nothing, then the opponent's just going to uh, uh, play some again. So cycling this thing, I think you should, but you are. Uh, I'll cycle the stinger. Let's. Yeah, we'll do a planes. Cycle it. Right, we get the Evolving Wilds. Cool, we'll play out the Evolving Wilds and we'll pass it back to them. Magic, will you let me play the Evolving Wilds? Thank you. Your, st your stream's gone, I don't know. Uh, could be on my end. Let's move the ship to one side. Let's do this cheeky speed test. I'm not sure if my housemates are streaming vast amounts of stuff. What's happening here? Careful use of the word stuff. <laughs> uh, I think Disney and uh, Disney watching for oh, my ping just turned from two. Uh, yeah, we're not looking grey on 20, 20 megabytes a second downloads, uploads probably shocking. Upload is, oh, like five, what's going on here? I may have to, between, between rounds, may have to do a cheeky restart of the internet. We'll see. Yeah, well, if you have to. Yeah, let me know if it, if it goes really bad. Yeah. So, we'll restart the stream. Uh, nope, you're back. Yeah, my opponent just said, uh, I, I just hope you don't start playing fast all of a sudden when your clock goes below five. <laughs> Apologise and say you're having internet issues. Yeah. Uh, right. Let's crack this evolving wilds and go find a mountain. Nice etiquette. Nice etiquette from our opponent there. Just like a polite, gentle, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> I don't be terribly mind, but could you um, uh, hurry the fuck up? Uh, okay, let's uh, attack in with these humans. Uh, the delay is now up to something like 30 seconds. Are you serious? So you know. Yeah, we're going to probably have to quick, uh, a cheeky reslide between lands. Coordinated charge. That's a good to draw. Okay, I'm going, to, I'm going to be good at telling you exactly what's going on here, Pip, because we've got delays up to 30 seconds. Oh, that's good practice. Okay, so they're cycling a startling development. Mm -hmm. So. Consider me. Cycling raking claws. I do want to make a bit of list of list of bullshit. Attacking 
coming in. All right, I'll take it. I I could. They, they probably have sorcery or some spell to untap. You could cycle and make a creature, yes. Um, I could cycle the void, but I don't. I know, it's, I know we're kind of losing out on our machine gun bastard, but like not not worth. We might be cycling at end of turn anyway to either hit a mountain to clear their blockers or just to put another one one on the board because we're intending to charge on your next turn. Oh, they flashed in the C dash rock, wasn't it? That's nice. That's fine. Nice card our opponent has. Mm. I hope they play an XT. <laughs> is currently still getting hit by the uh, extinction event on odd. Uh, should yep. I cycle the Void Beckoner? If they haven't played anything else, I probably yeah. would, yes. They haven't played anything else. Cycle it, create a human. I'm going to put Death Count on the, on the Valiant Recruiter because it just makes sense. I probably put it on the one of the one ones myself, but Sure. That makes more sense, but I've done it already. That's okay. Draw the second mountain for the Clash of the Titans. Excellent. So let's charge. Charge? Charge. Uh, making sure you play the mountain play first. Play the mountain. All attack, or...? Yeah, set, send, send with the clowns and charge on the blocking step. What? With the vet rescue as well? Yeah, because if they have something to untap their dude, then they'll block the rescuer, and then can clash, we can give it. We can clash the titans to, to fight their creatures. Okay, yeah. Cool. So I'll, I'm going to alpha strike. That's also another reason to put uh, the death touch counter on one of the one ones is so that we can clash to trade our one one death touch token for their oh, big that makes thing sense as well. All good ideas, Pip. Right. Okay, I'm going to alpha strike. No blocks. Coordinate charge. Yeah, Con convolute's worst case scenario here, but that's something we can't really do. Uh, like an unfortunate thing we can't play around at this point. We can't wait to have format for X. No effects. They take exactsies. <laughs> If they if they had nothing, they were dead. Okay, what are we bringing in against them? I think we're kind of okay of how we are. Um, I didn't really see enough to warrant a dead weight. From my memory, I'm having to go from memory of what's in your deck. We've got dead weight, mutual but destruction. If they're I don't play. They're they're on a similar ish strategy. Sure. They're playing psych. Um, I could see bringing in Heartless Act. I have some stuff from them at the moment. Although Raking Claws is obviously a big, big blow out there. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to restart this soon. Beat them. My internet has gone. Um, shit. Boarding, you could try restarting. You could try restarting it now. Well, I've got a minute on, two minutes on them. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, sideboards. Just I can restart my my. Uh, I'll restart it on my on my. Oh, I'll disconnect from Moto as well. That'd be really annoying. I'll do it in between rounds. I'll do it in between rounds. This this is gonna be painful for you spectating people watching, but. Um, just just cut the just cut. Cut the stream. Play the game and then we can replay the for the stream. My ping is four hundred and seventy six. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Cut the stream. Fin finish the match and then we'll we'll do the re. Uh, are we making any change to the deck? Uh, no, I don't think so. Right, slipping it back. Not, not from memory. Uh, 
Okay, so we've got uh, planes, forests, heartless act, pacifism, coordinated charge, Valkyrie, and the crusher. I'm not massively hot on this hand. We haven't, apart from the coordinated charge, we haven't really got um, much going on here. Yeah. I'm going to this one away. This is better. We've got a crystal, will of all hunters, loot tree, mountain, mountain, plains, and an unpredictable cyclone. I'll keep that yeah. for sure. Uh, what we're going to put to the bottom, probably the cyclone. Or the loot tree. Um, I'd probably put the loot tree, which makes me sad inside. Um, but we're very close to just going like turn three crystal, turn five, or turn four cyclone, and then cycling anything into anything into anything. Yeah. We're, we're hoping to draw a cycling creature and then hit our crusher and start smashing them okay. in the face. Lutri's going to the bottom. I'm sad, but Lutri's going to the bottom. They play. Do they play? Just in general, do they play? Do you even play, bro? <laughs> Okay, my internet is just now massively picked up. We've gone to a, like a three ping and my download speed is up now up to 50. Don't know what was Sweet. happening there. Uh, the, uh, the stream is back live. Um, Upload's still a bit a bit pathetic, uh, but... Yeah, and my Do You Even Play for a Quip has just gone live, so we're about 10 seconds behind. Oh, I'm a... Uh, Shamir, if you're if you're talking about the delay, uh, refresh. Yeah, so it's better. Okay, so they play the Triumph. Sure, Van Gogh. Uh, and we got a Marmoset, which makes me really happy. Mm. Marmoset attacking with a Marmoset is just feels scary for anybody. I kind of yep. want to play this crystal though, but Marmoset on Marmoset on on turn three, and then we'll decide if we want to play the crystal or not. If 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 we draw a fourth land, we we slam crystal. Uh, if we don't, then we play a Marmoset. Okay, so we've drawn the Void Beckoner, which makes me want to play this crystal, but we're still going to play the Marmoset on three. We're going to cycle Will of All Hunter on their end step, and again, if we hit the fourth land, we play the crystal, and if we don't, we'd probably play the Marmoset. Okay, Windscar Crag from them. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cycle this Will of All Hunters on their own step. Yep. Hey, we've got a Pathfinder. And we drew a Swamp as well. Mm -hmm. So let's play all of our manners, which is great. And I'm going to pay out the Prickly Marmoset. I don't think they can really afford to block it. Well, they have to block it, but I don't think they can afford to shove anything important in front of it. Okay, so they've got... F they're, they're passing a four-mana open. And we drew another part Farfinder. Um, they have four-mana open. I would not attack. What are they going to have? Uh, Divine Arrow, or deal 4 damage to target attacking creature, whatever the, the next snap, whatever it's called in this set. Do you think not to attack? I probably wouldn't. Okay, in which case, playing Farfinder and go getting the, uh, the, the one of... Getting our forest. One of forest. Forest. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, let's play that second. Let's go to combat. Wait, Arena, you can get 500 gems for 400 gems. Okay, sure. sure. Uh, okay, no attacks. Let's play a Farfinder. Uh, is there any kind of... Should I play the land for, before? Is there any kind of like... Um, it doesn't matter if you do or don't. All the counter spells will hit it, regardless of whether you play the land yeah, first. Right. So, fe fetch, and then play the land you fetch to minimize the yeah. damage. 
We do have another uh, fun combo here, which is cycling our Death Touch onto our first striker. Ooh. Okay, the Essence scattered it. Okay. Oh, cool. I'll take this bounty. I'll pass now. Might have been a reason to play pre-combat, because now they have less mana open, we might still want to attack him, but they could have Divine Arrows still. And they cycled another. Uh, startling development. I'm not sure how I feel about startling development. Like, I think it upgrades a lot of things. It's it's a really good sideboard card, but you can still run it in the main deck because it has cycling. Literally the only reason. Like, if it turns something into a human, I would really like it. But I'm not sure. Like, thematically, that a card doesn't work. Ooh, they just played their own uh, Thundercat. I shall be attacking him now. Yes. They still have three mana open, but... Um, well, they're not blocking. Uh, I'm gonna and if they if they kill our dude, then so be it. But they can... I'm going to play this mountain first. Oh, we could be playing the unpredictable cyclone this turn. I'm going to... Yeah, well, we're going we're gonna to attack first, and then if they take it, we're just going to unpredict... Uh... Yeah, because I'm not going to be cycling the Void Beckon here. I'm going to be cycling one of them so I can play the Farfinder no. as well. Okay, so let's attack. Would you like to trade? They don't. I think I just let it go through, right? And then we'll play the Cyclone. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to trade your 3 2 for my 2 3 first striker? And by trade, I mean just throw it under the bus. Maybe they do want to do that. Right. Please don't counter okay. opponent. Unpredictable cyclone. Mm. I'd be surprised if they had a normal counter. I think they're just. Ru well, they might have. They might have blue blue one counter target. They're reading it. It's always a good sign. It means our opponent doesn't know what the card does. And it sticks. And they might miss. They might misevaluate it. Okay. Cool. Okay. So we can cycle this void back into something fun. We can't cycle our crystal because we don't have any other artifact. I mean, we can still cycle it, but it just doesn't yeah, really but... do anything. Okay, they've mutated the Everquill Phoenix. What the fuck does this do? Whenever this creature mutates, create a red artifact token named Feather. Pay one, sacrifice, return target Phoenix after that. Yeah, that card is annoying. Annoying. Okay. It's also a 4-4 four, four flyer. 4-4 four, flyers are good, but we have a potentially bigger... We can actually race that, in theory. Okay, and they're tapping out. Oh, they're having it fight. Shit. That's not so good. They're fighting our thing. Well, and that's That annoying. is really annoying. Okay, that happens. And uh, we take 4. So, I was in a really happy position second ago. I'm less so happy now. What do we draw? Scoured Barons. Well, let's play the fox, find a green source, and then cycle our Void Baron. Yes, we'd like to use Spirity Forest to hand. Play the forest. Cycle it now or cycle it on their turn? Mm. Don't cycle it on their turn. What can we hit that we care about? Um, nothing we have has haste, so we cycle it on. Yeah, we cycle it on their turn. Also, like we if we cycle on their end step, then it's... Um, Yes, Shamir, we can we can wreck them if we hit the green trampler. Unfortunately, you can only cycle. Uh, unfortunately, that's quite long odds, but you know, could happen. Hitting anything will be decent. Yeah, our two best hits are our uh, Thrasher or our own Lion. I can't remember the name of the cards. White, white, red, three, two. When you cycle a card, pay two, deal two, gain two. It is one of our few outs, you are right. Mm. 
We should probably bring in uh, Spring Trap. Yeah, seeing all this, yeah. God, I think they're just all back in line. Well, our, our Wrath will answer it because the Wrath will also destroy the token. Let's go through. Okay, down to 12. Okay, right. Cycle this. We got some. I mean, again, this Thunder Man is probably going to shoot down our fox right now. Yeah, but we could hit our own Thunder Man and then that would be good. Although, if they have a cycling in hand, then they can just kill it. Which is an argument to be made, which means there's an argument to be made for waiting until our turn to cycle, but I think we need to maximize our mana use. We hit the Regal Leosaur. Mm. It's okay. Oh, we drew an Evolving Wild, which is less than ideal. Evolving Worlds is probably the worst draw. It is most probably. Should we just cycle the crystal now? Well, it doesn't do anything. Well, it draws. It, it cycles. It literally is just, just cycling. Uh, no, it doesn't. Because we've got cycling. No, it still draws as a card. No, it doesn't, does it? Read, read is it May? No. Oh my god. Fuck. That's why we should have spring trap in the main. <laughs> Fuck. Yes, all right, that happens. Um Well, I guess it looks like oh god, can we even just like attack into all that mana? We kind of have I mean, we've, we've got, got no, no choice. We've not, got no we're choice. Not exactly doing anything by not, so right. Let's attack. What we really love is the um, rare four CMC artifact guy who, at the beginning of your uh, combat step, at, at the beginning of combat on your turn, gains like a random counter from a long. And they're flashing in. Oh no, there's there's the worst assault. Oh, work. they're cycling. If they're cycling, we're probably just. I think we're, we're pretty much dead here. So they're going to shoot down. They're going to give one of them, I think, minus o, uh, minus two, minus o, and the other thing they're going to shoot probably. Crystal and Giant, thank you. That card is is very chaotic because if you hit Hexproof as your first thing, then you can just win the game off the back of it. But if you don't, they can usually kill it. Right. Let's go for one more draw step. We have actually we still have we still have an out. I mean, we, we've got kill spells, we've got wraths. Yep. Well, the wraths. The wrath we've, just... we've, got, we've got Heartless Out, we've got Pacifism, we've got the Even Wrath, which actually currently is pretty good for us. Um, yeah, it just it wipes their board and does nothing to yeah, us. Yeah, we'll get rid of that Feather Token as well. Yes. Uh, yep, they're down to eight. And I don't think, they, don't think they really need to commit anything to board, do they? Oh, we're going to. Uh, let's hope it has an even CMC. It does have an even CMC. It is a 3 6 vag uh, vagilance, uh, vigilance, <laughs> imposing Vantasaur. I'm not sure why they didn't just cycle that, but. Yes. Whatever. I'm going to. They, they can I'm live that long like. whilst it's in the deck. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we've drawn more than 50% of our lands at this point, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, almost. And we draw Pacifism. That's a card. That is a card. That is a card that's going straight on the fucking Phoenix now. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's play this guy. There's no reason to keep a land in hand, is there? Um, 
there's no we have we haven't we got uh do we have we haven't no. got the the looter in in the main deck do we yes yes there is there is a reason we have the uh evolve five four trampler that loots we do okay uh i guess i attack well no i, I can always attack for far fine if they want to trade the the vantasaur with her that's fine yeah, or you could not attack, and then they can't attack with Avancor because you. Well, no, it. they could cycle the card and then just shoot it with the um, uh, Thunder Rain. Mm, true. And they've currently but got one mana. Over. I'd rather. F like I. Would, I'd rather force them to do. do. Well, I'm not forced. I'm not forcing them to do anything right now. Like if they, if they, 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 they. So right, right. Currently, I've also got seven. So if I attack in. So we attack. Yeah. We attack. We put them to nineteen. They attack back to no, five. No, no, no. It's got. It's got. Then it's we got have to Yes. What's your point? So if they want to block, fine. But they're not attacking with the Phoenix, and they can't. If they want to attack the Vansor, I'm still going to block. You know. Your creature doesn't. Yeah, have it does. Vigilance. It's got. It's got. Bit, so and my you creature has vigilance. It's got Death Touch and vigilance. Oh right, right, right. I'm just an idiot. Then yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I always forget the fox has vigilance. I, 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 when I first read the card, I was like, a three mana one one that fetches me a land. I'll play that, and I didn't even bother to read the rest. Yes, it has vigilance. Mark is correct. Yeah, that's that's, that's what I was so confused. Like, I was like, "But you just tag, right?" <laughs> no, you were like, "It has vigilance." I'm like, "Yeah, I know they ha their three six has vigilance, so they're just going to attack." Right, we got, I got on six minutes forty on the clock. Uh, cool. They cycle. They're probably going to kill the far find. That's fine. Oh shit! They put a flying counter on the three six. I think we're fucked. Mm, you still have an out. Although our Heartless Act is now no longer live. A Heartless Act is not Cough. Yeah, what? Well, cough predicted cough. Well, yes, but it still it still can remove things. I can I can take flying off it. Oh, joy. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop going to quick play mode now because we're at uh, six minutes forty on the clock. Sure. Uh Okay, we draw a Just flying maybe. blocker. Good. Play it. And pass back. We just want to hit one of our cyclers, please. I don't think there's much difference between on us on five or two, to be honest. I would I'm happy to not block this time round. Agreed. Uh, I have to block it because he's mutated onto the Phoenix. What if just mutated into Vault of Vansor, but there we go. Again, was uh, Regal Leosaur. Oh, okay. So I've got, I have to block because it's lethal now. That's fine. Mr. President, no. Blocked. We don't die. We draw. Uh, Dranith, let's cycle it. We get Thunderbane, which doesn't help us, so we concede and go to the next one. Yep. Okay, so let's bring in that. Our draw was our, our out there. Shamir was the wrath because all their stuff is even. So we just wrath away their board, their tokens, and leave it. Leave us both in top deck mode. Spring door trap comes in and out goes. Mm. Heartless act. Probably. Loot tree. No. He's still too good, unfortunately. Okay, heart attack coming out. Right. We've got like five minutes forty on the clock, so I'm gonna be really quick. You... Plenty. Right, I'll play first. Plenty. We've got Scour Baron's Plains, Divine Arrow, Janice Singer. Keep it. Marmoset, Distinction Event, and Will of a Hunter. We'll keep it. Playing Scour Baron's passing it back. Extinction event is a messed up card. It is. 
Okay, mountain and ship it back. Boy, Beck may play planes and I will ship it back to them. Cycle will have hunted on their yeah. own set. Okay, they haven't played anything. Cycling will have hunted. Draw a go for blood. We draw a crystal. Uh, we cycled. Cycle cycle stinger. Cycle stinger? Yeah, mm -hmm. we kind of need to hit our land drops. We just want to. Uh, we don't hit our land drops. Let's pass it back to them. I'll cycle go for blood on there. On there. But we should have probably cycle both. They cycle lava serpent. That's nice to know they have in their deck. Not really nice to know now, but hey ho. Cycle opposing Vantasaur. They hit the third land off a mountain. And they pass it back to me. I'm going to cycle Go for Blood. Draw Unpick Silent Rain. Turn. We draw Pacifism, which is Cack. I could cycle the Crystal. Cycle the Crystal. Yeah. Please hit our third land drop. Hey, we do. Cool. Right, passing it back to them. Ma Ma Mountain. Mountain. Yay. Uh, next turn, I'm probably just playing out the prickly marmoset. They have mm -hmm. been holding their mana open. I feel like they have essence scatter though. I could play out the regal Leosaur. No, nope, they tapped out for the Evercool Phoenix, which could get divine arrowed. Um, Pacifism or play. Not? Play prickly marmoset. Okay, play the prickly marmoset. Because it's because it's odd, and we're going to be uh, extinction eventing for even as soon as we have. Okay, so we've got pa we've got passism well, not... and divine arrow for it as well. True. I'm um, half tempted. But we actively we actively want them to mutate it. Uh, okay, they bounce the prickly marmoset to my hand with a gust of wind. They're going to get in with That's four. Fine. I think I just play it back out again. Yep. Uh, we've got the valiant rescuer, but. I'm still going to play out the Marmoset. Do they have Essence Scatter? They don't have Essence Scatter. Uh, I'm going to have to discard a card. What should I discard? Probably the Cyclone. I think we've... Oh, they just killed it. I'm going to discard the Cyclone. Uh, yeah, I think we're, just, we're so far yeah. off Cyclone. Yeah, we've also hit things we want to cycle into. Go the oh the otter, they're off the races, man. Are these oh, diversified as well? What am I playing this turn? Okay, for planes, I can play a valuant rescuer and put a pacifism on their phoenix. Right, back to them. Four minutes on the clock. <laughs> this flourishing fox is going to get massive. And their otter is a problem. Okay, they're fighting the rescuer and that, so they're going to get in for at least three and draw a card. I think this is kind of floating away from us. I can do Extinction Event on Odd. Odd. Yeah. Which may very well just be the case here, I think. That keeps us in it. If they play a 3-drop... They yes. don't, they just leave 4 mana open. We play a mm. Farfinder. I'm, I'm going to Extinction Event for Odd. We're on 10 life. Mm. I know this could be wrong, but I've got 3 minutes, 10, three minutes 50 on the clock. Uh, sure. Odd. Pass it back. Because uh, next turn I can play Farfinder. Into Leosaur. Although we probably just play Farfinder and pass. Uh, Farfinder for green. Oh, we've got the planes. Uh, so I'm going to Farfinder. For green. Go, go, green. Uh, but I'm not going to play the green. 
uh, the Essence Scatter, which is fine. I'll play the Planes and I'll play a Regal Leosaur because they've got nothing on board to yep. attack in. Uh, next turn. I can give this Regal Leosaur. Okay, so they've, destro they've just destroyed the enchantments on the Phoenix, so they're going to start attacking with that thing. Next turn, I can Divine Arrow it. Mm hmm. We're down to six. They're still on twenty. Clash the Titans. That's fine. So I'm just going to attack in. Uh, if they have anything, they have anything, and I'm going to pass it back to them. We don't have access to Clash Titans yet. We still have Divine Arrow as well as the Void Beckoner. Uh, they attack. Divine Arrow, Phoenix. Do they have a response? They don't. Okay, that's good. Do I cycle this Void Beckoner? I think I do. Uh, recycle it. Put a flying counter. Okay, so we're just like, I'm going to let that happen. Uh, and I'm going to cycle the Void Beckoner. Mm-hmm. Mountain. Oh, we got the mutate, the five four retake from each. Uh, let's whack that on there. One. Uh, I really want to keep this mountain, so I'm. Uh, let's put it. We're, we're playing. We're playing. We're playing. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to yes. use its ability because I, I want all these all these cards. There's an argument to be made for ditching the crasher, but that's fine. No, I won't use ability. I'll play out the mountain to bait something, and let's go attack. We're playing. We're playing the mountain so we can clash with Titans yeah. next turn. Okay, they got three cards in hand. There's two four flyer. Go go massive dinosaur. They attack in. We go to four, which is worrying. Please play our big creature. Uh, they kill my thing. That's sad. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. We draw planes, which does fuck all, uh, and we pass them. Please play our creature and boozle yourself. They will not. If they're smart, they won't. Mm, it could be smart. Right, attacking us to two. Yeah, we should have we should have um, looted away the crasher. Unfortunately, yeah, you're probably right. Uh, Regal Leosaur. Uh, I'm gonna clash it just for fucks of it. <laughs> That's this just means I have one creature to deal with still. One lethal flyer. And cycle this away. And Evolving Worlds. We do not get there. What a shame. Womp womp. What a shame. Womp womp womp. What was our next card? Uh, I'll find out. I'll, I'll, let them kill, I'll let them kill us and I'll find out. I'll play as if we have one more turn left. Go to the forest. Yeah, we die. They style us and do a Zenith flare. Yeah, they had it for quite a bit. Okay, our next card would have been. Janus Stinger, and that cycled into a mountain. So, no, nah, we didn't have this one. That's a shame. That's a shame. I think I. It was what it was. That that phoenix was just really good. We couldn't deal with that phoenix for so many turns. That did us in. Oh, you there, Pip? Have I lost you? I'm I'm oh, I'm yeah. here. You're just you shell shocks as I am. 
Uh, I, was, I just muted myself. Oh, okay. Uh, Have a slurp of beverage. Yeah, so that happened. So we lost that one. That's unfortunate. I. Meh. So two questions. Do you want to restart your internet? Uh, I think we're doing better now. I don't know quite what happened earlier. And secondly, do I play in the pauper challenge and help you on stream? Well, that's up to you, man. Mm. Yeah, I mean, my internet's way better now. I don't know what was going on earlier. I... I'm going to stick here and... There'll be other pauper challenges, and we're playing we tomorrow have, anyway. We have so a pauper league tomorrow as well, haven't we, Joe? Yeah. Shamir, are you joining the pauper league? The Dark Sphere pauper league, or Modo, that is, not the... Um... Yeah, man, you should. It's good fun. It is actually, actually really good fun. We're, we're playing nice, gentlemanly rules, so if you're a combo deck and you can explain the combo to your opponents, then they concede, which makes a lot more decks very viable. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Mind you, I was, I was, I was okay. playing the Grave the, the, um, uh I was playing the Grave... Plus, it's like paper class, like in-person classes or like VC classes. There's um there's a new combo deck apparently or well, not new but uh, an upgrade an existing one, cunning survivor combo with library of Lang. Is library of Lang poor illegal? I library of Lang is poor illegal. Love library of Lang. And do you know what's really good with library of Lang? What's that? Tre treasure hunt. What's treasure hunt do. Uh, search your library for um, non-land hand. And then put all cards revealed this way. Oh, search your reveal the cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card. Put all cards revealed this way in your. So the joke is, you play library, uh, play survival, treasure hunt, for a ton of lands and a random card, and then play Tolarian wins, which is discard your hand and then draw that many cards. <laughs> so your survivalist becomes like a plus twenty, plus twenty trample haster. Well, that seems like a thing. That that can't be blocked. <laughs> Okay, so we have a mulligan of a hand. I, I may I may I may build that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna mulligan this one away. It's got a mountain as its only land. We're not keeping that. Uh, we've got two one mana cyclers though, and a fox. That's, no, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm you're, gonna, right. Okay. you're right. You're right. You're uh, right. This is slow, but just better. We're not going to mulligan this way, but we'll, uh, we'll keep it. Um, Bottom of the forest, I guess. Yeah, if we need it, we'll just go find it. We're more likely to go find it than we are. Yeah. We've got like three ways to search it out. And we have a second source as well. Yeah. Okay, so apparently let's play the mountain. Hope we draw well. The Magic the Gathering story. Fucking story of my life. <laughs> did you draw well? No, no, I did not. I can't. I can't draw for crap. That's why I always fail at quick lash in other games. Uh, no, not quick lash. Oh draw. god, we're gonna get run over. <laughs> Whenever this creature mutates, put a plus Bye. one plus one counter on that creature, and you gain two life. The essence symbiote. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's a good oh, card. Get killed. <laughs> and and another reason why Heartless Act is pretty garbage because that's a common uh okay so we'll go for blood uh, i'll play out the swamp and uh pass it back to them um i drawful is good i agree i'm just really bad at it uh cycle the charge on their own yeah, i don't think I, I don't think the pump's gonna be oh they're mutating it <laughs> Daddy, no. Obviously they're <laughs> mutating it. Why else would play the card? Oh, I wish we were mutating things. Yeah. It's now a 4-5. And they go get a land. 
god. This is probably their best draw, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'll worry quite a bit about it. Cycle this charge. Crystal. Uh, I'm going to play out this Dranif Stinger. We could draw a Dranif Stinger and a Crystal. Mm. Basically, here's, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Sure. This turn we're going to play out the Dranif, yeah. Dranif Stinger. Next turn I'll have four mana, okay? And I can Void Beckoner and go for Bloods. And then it can fight whether, however fucking big this thing gets. And it'll fight and have a Death Touch counter on it. Yeah. There's no other way we're getting rid of that thing. That, that's, that's, that is the be all end in all of this. There's no other way. Well, extinction. extinction yeah, event. but we've got to draw that card. Whereas I've got, I've got a way of Fantastic. killing it in my hand currently. No, no. I, I agree with your line. I, I have no problems with the line as given. And they take two damage. Why can't I fight and beckon the next turn? Oh, I... Well, you're not going to have five yeah. mana. Shit. And it pings players, not yeah, creatures. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, well, we're taking our beats. Just got to wait a little bit longer. If, if, Stinger, if Stinger could target creatures, it would be stupidly good at common and should probably be an uncommon. Oh. Daddy, no. Calm down, Pleasant Kenobi. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did we, why, why did we not cycle on their end step? I had no mana. I have one mana. I, I need this go for blood. I need the go for blood to kill the thing. The, the, t the Void Beckoner and the go for blood kills the big fucking scary thing. Uh, but so does Clash of Titans. Uh... And we're casting, them, casting that next turn also. Mark realizes he's made a mistake. Fuck. Cycle the go for blood. I don't want to. I could s cycle the void beckoner, and then they may not want to actually attack in. Uh. Sure. Actually, we should probably just pass and then cycle the Void Beckoner anyway. Yeah. Um, I, th I, th I think that's because then I think the biggest the upside. Because I think that that way leaves us up more open to dealing with more things. If we're going to do that, we should probably cycle Go for Blood now in case we draw Pacifism and change our minds. No, because the, the Go for the Blood is, is important, the whole Void Beckoner thing. I know it's Clash. No, clash we're just, I, I think we're just going to block, can... we're just gonna block on Void Beckoner. We don't. We don't need to wait. We can just block Void Beckoner, give it Death Touch, and trade. But now I've got this two-three and a one-one to deal with. Yeah. Well, we'll cycle our go for blood and draw a creature, right? <laughs> you you want to spend two cards to trade with this when you could just cycle this Void Beckoner right now? Okay. Right? I don't I'm understand. I'm gonna cycle the Void Beckoner. Because it's it's fight. It's not as even if, it's not as if it does damage equal to its power. In which case you would keep your creature. Uh, I'll cycle this go for blood as well then. Uh, yeah. That's another point of damage. You spent all last turn arguing with me about cycling it, and now you're just like, yeah, I'll just cycle it. <laughs> There's nothing we could draw for one white that would be relevant to yeah, this scenario, I'd rather, I'd Basically, I'd rather not misclick and just do it when I can. I know there's nothing we can have to help. Ooh, what does the fox say? The fox says, I fetch forests. Okay, so we've dealt with the intermediate problem. Please say, oh, what are you going to play on now? The Tappy all the Manor again? Oh, it's Vivian. Oh. <laughs> That's a, Vivian's a big oof. Oh, fuck.
Vivian is pretty unbeatable in this format. Oh, up ticks to make a 3-3. Three, three. It up the ticks to make a 3-3, three, three, which immediately gets it out of Heartless Act range. Oh. So the only way to really deal with it is direct damage. Uh, I need to draw... We need to draw 6-6 six, six to trample. That and our extinction event. Uh, yeah. Extinction event won't necessarily help. Oh, we, drew, we, drew the we drew the we crasher. Draw. We drew the crasher. Sweet. So we play Fox, fetch our forest. They make a 3-3. Three, three. They swing in. We fight their two 3-3s. Three, they make another 3-3. Three, three. We play crasher. That might leave us dead. Uh, let's do some. We're taking six. Then next time we kill their two three threes, we take three more. So one exactly, and we do have a fox that we could chump on. Are we? Do we play the? So basically, if we play fox. We're still getting this, this thing's chump out. We, we we play crystal into fox. Crystal into fox. Actually, no, no. This... We just we just play fox and we cycle the crystal. We don't need the crystal. There's an argument to playing Clash of Titans this turn if the beast fights their 2-3. No, because they'll make a 3-3 three, three on their next turn and we can fight their 2-3-3s three, and get rid of yeah, them both. Yeah, but, but in the, but, but in the meantime we're taking a lot of damage in the, in, in the process. Whereas once we get once we get the, cra once we get the Crasher down, then their 3-3s three, become irrelevant. Well, not irrelevant, but... Not, not really true. So the lines are, we can play the fox, let them, uh, we can play the fox, they attack us for six. That we takes untap, us down, so that takes us down pass. to four life. Yeah, we, we pass, they make another three threes, so they've got three three threes. We trade off the two that can attack with crash of Titan. They swing in, we trade our fox for their one one, we take two, go to two, we untap, we play crasher. Uh, no, so we have to chop block their 2-2 two -two for this to work. Uh, because then we're at 3 life, we play our Crasher, they swing with their team, we block the 3-3, three -three, we take 2 going to 1. Exactly. Whereas if we play Crasher next turn, they attack us down to 6 and make a 3-3, three -three, we play Crasher, they attack us again, we block a 3-3, three -three, we take another 6 and die. So I'm playing Crystal and Farfinder. Uh, I would play Farfinder and cycle the because we could hit uh, a relevant two drop. We do have quite a few of them. Okay. Uh... What mana do I want to leave open? Yeah, doesn't really white doesn't really matter because I can always play out the other land. You cycle the crystal first. By the way. Well, I didn't. <laughs> okay. You cycle crystal. Uh, no, 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 no. Shamir, Shamir has it right. You cycle the crystal first because you could hit extinction event, which might change the line. This is true. Wish we had some bomb mythics. I mean, not every pool does. Yeah, but I wish we did. Yes. Give me that forest. There's no reason not to play the forest now. Yeah, you well you have to play the forest now. Because otherwise you can't crash her. <laughs> so the question is, do we chump their 2-2 two -two this turn, trade with their 1-1, one -one, or not block anything? This whole line is predicated on them having nothing else, by the oh, way. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, <laughs> if they have anything else, I think we're really fucked. They make another 3 3 trample. Sure. Uh... Right. I think we block the 1 1. Well. I think we trade off the 1 1s, and take... then we. And then... We take 5, the next turn we take 2. 
and then two again. So we, we stay at one either way, but we get that one one off the board. Which is you know it's gonna be the little thing that chips in that last bit of damage. Well we just we need to save two damage over the next two turns, and that's either by chump blocking a two two or trading with a one one now. So you trade now. Target creature gets plus five plus five. Oh, for a, for a second, oh, for a second, no, I, I thought I thought I was also <laughs> yielded for a second. I was like shitting myself. Circling the crystal, we get come on, give me something. Why are they pause and they've got they've got interaction in hand, which is painful because the, they wouldn't be in the they wouldn't be pausing over this cycling. Land. Well, they're wondering what. Divine arrow. Okay, that's fine. That. Play, play land and pass. Yeah. Divine arrow. Yeah. That is a good if draw. Okay, so it's a five. That means that the turn we can play out the the crusher. We will have that and divine arrow at the same time, which mm -hmm. is nice. And this is trample, which means that we could hit their blocker and kill the Vivian. Yes. But that leaves us potentially dead to the two, two three. Crasher, uh, is it whenever it deals damage to a player? Yeah, it does. Ah, uh, that's annoying. We might have to just ignore Vivian. I think we may have to. I don't, I don't think we can play that mini game. Fucking hell. <laughs> What's its minus two? Oh, fucking hell. If it starts doing its minus two, we're so <laughs> screwed. <laughs> okay, they make a, pe a beast with trample. Yep. They... Swing with the team. They do. We fight their two three threes. Uh, that fights that. <laughs> oh. Nope, they found the line. Put plus one plus one counter and life link on the target creature. It's fine. We would we would dead if they had any. Yeah, concede. Okay, so that's a huge issue. Vivian, small problem, yes. Uh, I don't think we have anything in our sideboard that can do it. Heartless Act does nothing in this deck against them. And it's getting yeah. out. Uh, we can put in Spring Draw Clap, Sp Spring Draw Trap to. Take out yeah, a beast, sleeper dart to uh, draw a card and put in put in spring draw trap because it makes our crystal cycles live, and it 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 can deal with because it's three damage to any target. Yeah. So obviously they uptake your sleeper dart. It goes to one, so it makes it more likely we can kill it on the backswing, but. Vivian is just a problem. Mutual destruction is very feel Ooh. very good, but um, bring in spontaneous flight. Yes, we may need that. Uh, take out. Take out the. It's not doing enough. Loot tree. Loot tree here. Remember to trade it away for a game. Oh, yeah. I traded away my Gordos. My Gordos? Is it Gordo? The one that's been banned everywhere at the moment. Yeah. 
Uh, yes, I'd like to go first. Companion is stupid mechanic. It's probably the worst mechanic they've ever made. No. No, yeah. it's not the worst mechanic. What What's worse than it? Banding. I mean, ob obje objectively, there are things that are more powerful, like Storm and Dredge, and things that are more wordy, like banding and phasing, but it's it's a combination of both extremely powerful and extremely rules tricky that makes it just super annoying. Like, banding is annoying, but you hardly ever see band. Storm and Dredge are really, really strong, but they're at least relatively simple to understand. Yeah, it kind of like, it's... Uh, okay, well, first of all, let's, let's keep this hand. It's got Mouse on the Plains, a Valiant Rescuer, yeah. which I will be playing just to try and go a bit wide. Um, and then yes. just hope we draw on something else. Um, yeah, so it... The whole... Companion thing, it kind of reminds me of why... Okay, it's not anywhere near as strong, and I'm, like it would scares the hell out of me if they continue with Companion. But, like, eminence in Commander really upsets me. Um, because you basically, you basically yeah, but... always have this effect available to yourself, regardless of whether it's there. And I think, like, it's it's almost like an, a slight version of having, like, an eminence or, or, an, or, or, like, a wish constantly. It's like a free wish. Isn't, isn't that an argument in favour of companion being worse because companion is the same thing oh no like, no no, no. that's what i'm arguing there. that's why i was like i hate eminence, it's available but i genuinely think eminence is a terrible thing in the commander format um and yeah i i agree i do not like the mechanic and i don't you know it's not great in commander but that's the thing it's a me commander only mechanic companion is eminence for every format they don't need really flash at this mana cost so i'll attack in three uh, and I'm going to play out the prickly marmoset. I think we've I think we've just got to go faster than them. Yeah, no, no, we put, we play the prickly for sure, because we can uh, mutate onto it next yeah. turn, and then we have a five four first. <laughs> five four first strike and reach. That's pretty hard for them to deal with. I'm not going to say it's too hard for them to deal with because I don't want to jinx myself. Yeah. Uh, okay, they dead weight that. That's understandable. That's understandable. I'm kind of fine with that. Uh, Joanna Stinger, it's fine. I'm just going to get him for Major Beaks and Mutate. Yep. Uh, yes. Over. Yeah, I don't understand the logic behind making Companion a thing. Like, what market are they trying to make Do it for? Standard? Want to Limited? These cards away? I kind of don't want to. Um, I. Would rather I. Uh, it's kind of like a. It's like a. It's no. like a free cycle on the stinger. No, no, you don't. You don't, unfortunately. The 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 possible line here is to discard the extinction event, to just look for something that affects the board, like a dorky creature or another, because that represents more damage. And I think that might have been correct, but I think having extinction event is. As a safety valve, is probably just better. Yeah, I think I think for me, you're right. They're trying to woo commander players into standing. Going, look, you can play commander in standard, and you're like, yeah, but like, that's not how you do it. It's not how you do it. Uh, oh, they, this, they play. I don't know. Some someone someone really screwed the pooch on that one. I. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, so they play a four three menace. It is even, which is good because this is uh, uh, odd. Uh, we don't care. We don't. don't care. Another far fine. I think we just attack in. Do they realise it's got first strike? Um, call the stinger first before attacking. Sure. Well, no, no. So what? Do they block? Yeah. So I say again. You you cut out a little bit there for a second. Uh, oh uh, sorry. Uh, send in. Uh, then if they don't block. Yeah. Again. Okay. And if they do block, then we fox into Stinger. Uh, they don't block, so I'll cycle the Stinger. Mm -hmm. What are we uh, string, uh String trap thingy bullshit. 
We'll take seven down to five. Okay. So they're a virtual two life. Yes. So we can play Farfinder. Fox into yeah. Stinger. Yeah. Farfinder into Stinger. Uh, let's go find our black source. Oh, sorry. We we played we played Stinger. The stream is really behind. I think. Yeah, I get, I get the impression that it just dropped off there for a second because my um uh, call quality of view just went. <coughs> um, I I probably I don't know whether you should have played trap because you might want to hold it. You've got five mana, so you could do it. Ah, yeah. So I I, I, it might I forgot I had flash. I completely forgot I had flash. Yeah, I mean, it, mana efficiency is good, and if we now draw a relevant cycle at one mana, then so much the better. But okay, so they just attacked. I think, yeah, they've attacked. I can't block it, so that okay. happens. They're probably playing Extinction Event for five uh, for odd now then. Uh, commando. Uh. Hmm. They're not quite dead on board. They just attack with both. No, leave the fox, just send with the um, dino. So I always play a fox next turn as well. Yeah, but they're just blocking, they're going to chomp with their 1-1 one -one and block the fox with the 2-2, two -two, so you're just throwing away the fox. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Whereas if you, play, if you play a fox now, then you have two 1-1s. One -ones. Okay, they chomp. We have a lot of threats here. Uh, flying fox is a lethal threat. Um, the forest. The, the cycling lightning axe guy is a semi-lethal threat. Any removal spell is lethal if they don't play another creature. I mean, I could always just, if they don't play anything else, I can always boom, go trap the night squad and then just hit extinction event on the evens. Mm. You, well, you can't do both. You won't have the well, mana. Uh, oh, yeah, it's four mana, isn't it? Four be three. Four mana. You are correct. I feel like they're either color screwed or mana screwed when they've got forest, forest, swamp, swamp, mountain. I don't know. I think they've. What had a really awkward draw? Probably. They've, they've either got an awkward draw or they've got a bunch of cards that like late game cards that they don't want to waste so um, they might have some uh, evolve whatever they're called is it evolve? Mutate? no um, yeah they might have some mutate cards that they just don't want to waste or they've got like double red spells in hand but there aren't that many of them Gem Razor. Okay, they're gonna destroy the trap. Mm-hmm. That happens. Are they going to attack? They will not be attacking. They are attacking. Really? They are. Wow. Uh, I'll just take it. Yeah. Well. <laughs> they might have Heartless Axe, so it would be really great if we could draw a card that gives our creature death touch. No, uh, we did not. Guess we're just attacking him with everything? Yeah, send in the clowns. Play Scoured Baron. They have something. Unlike the aid. Get Obviously. plus two. Oh, fuck, it's going to kill it. Plus two, plus only yeah. structural, right? 
Mm. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. It's okay. You're still under a lot of pressure. This is even my do, do kind of wish we'd help that trap. Yeah, though. yeah, no, you're right. Extinction event doesn't help us at the moment, so we've just got to pass. That was unfortunate. I mean, we still have. We got so we got so fox. many live draws. We've got the plus two plus two and flying. We've got the fox. We've got. Guess we can draw cyclers into relevant stuff. We got a lot of redraws from our cyclers. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah, so we, so we we can extinction event their big boy, but then I, no. I I don't really want to do that until we really have to. They're getting here for six. That's odd. Don't really want to chump block anything right now. No. Oh yeah, the gem rage has reach. The card. This is the, as many people said. This is the card from the set that you're literally like, I'm not gonna fucking remember this thing has reach. There's no. There's nothing in the art that goes that thing has reach. Although it's kind of hitting a bunch of like shards of gems up into the air, and they play. Gem Razor has reach, but they seem to be uh, like committed to attacking. Proud Wild Bonder. Creature control of Tremor. Also, we can extinction event to kill him. Yeah. Steam. Um, oh, we definitely we definitely extinction event him for even now. Spontaneous flight. I've just got it. Uh, okay. Can I do both? One, two, three, four. You should do both. I should play the extinction event pre combat, shouldn't I? Yeah. Well. Mm. So oh, I have to, I have to, right? Because then they don't have any blockers. Does that? Does I, the, I only. I, I mean, you can fly over. You can fly over it. It's not. Doesn't matter. Why is they have a if they have a combat trip that gives it reach or something? Well, so that's the thing. If we if we extinction event, then we play around a combat trick with reach. But you can play around that anyway by just attacking and then spontaneous flighting the one they block. The, the one they don't block. But if we extinction event, then we still die. It, I'm, I'm trying to work out if we can safely afford to exclude, ex to not show them we have extinction events so they don't play around it for game three. But I think we should just play safe and play it. Yeah, I'm playing it. Although I will say that if this was a paper tournament and I was playing live, I would not play extinction event. Here. I, I agree with you. Attack, attack, turn of all fields. <laughs> One. I know it's a one sided draft, but if we play it, then we win this game that we might be winning right, anyway. I'm going to ship it back. I don't think there's anything we want to bring in, right? We... Uh, yeah. But we don't. Um... We decrease our chances of winning game three because no. they can now play around it because they know we have. Yeah, it. I, I agree. I agree with Pip on that on that thing, but like, um... if it if it was game one, I would have been telling you not to show. But because it's game two, and we have to win. I think you're fine to. We also have like another six minutes left on the clock again, which is great. <laughs> mm. I mean, partly that's because of the stream broadcast lag. Um, but also, you are just like a slightly slower than, than average. Player. Thanks, buddy. It's, it's talking, talking through every single um, uh, move like slows you down. I'm gonna mark it. So I've got two mountains. No, well, I got. I can cycle away the unpredictable cyclone. Uh, I would keep this. Yeah. I yeah. Our land's gonna help. Okay, fine. We'll keep it. If we if we get run over, we get run over. They've gone to six. We haven't. We haven't seen a lot of removal from them, so I'm I'm okay keeping this. No, we've seen combat tricks though. Yeah, but I we don't care about combat tricks if we have thunder, particularly if it has death touch. It's true. Our like best draws now would be okay. 
turn one evolving wilds into into fox, and then we can start combo killing them. Okay, so we hit our swamp. So far, so good. Oh shit! They played the symbiote. Not so good. No, well, we have we have a kill condition in hand. Play a swamp. Pass it. I'm gonna cycle away this the the cyclone in their end step. Yes, yeah, cycle cyclone. Take two. Yeah. Okay, they've drawn full junt and they play Night Squad Commando. Fine, let's just cycle this now. Go for blood. I've got that whole go for blood void back in the conundrum again. Another mountain. Uh, mm. Cycle, go for blood. I shouldn't have played the mountain first. No. Well, oh, we drew the yeah, planes. Full we, we, punished. We, 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 full punished. Oh, oh I, I fucked it. it <laughs> That's it. I fucked it. God Fuck damn it. it. Oh, we should have had the Thunder Bane on the, on the field. Yep, we take a bunch of damage. Oh, we can we can act. Oh, we could have we could have had this next turn. Void Beckoner. I fucked it all. I fucked it all with that, playing that land. I mean I wanna tell you I wanna tell you it's too okay, but it's, it's not. Really like we would have we would literally that this term we would have been having the death clutching uh machine gun bastard. And we drew a psycho as well. <laughs> Fuck, bad mark. Oh shit. I can't pay for a cycle thing either. Oh my gosh, whenever anything mutates. Shit, mm -hmm. that's really good, man. Oh, we're, we're, yeah, we're super it's, dead. It's it's stupidly good, two drop. Um, even, odd, even. No. We have, to, we have to block their 2 3 and hope to draw Extinction Event. We're gonna put the cat. We have, we, we, what, what else do you wanna do, Mark? Because if we extinction event, we're extinction event for even, and our lion's dying anyway, and we have to, we have to draw it. We don't have any other outs at this point. I mean, if if we could if we could have this turn cycled for death touch, we'd be fine. Uh, no, no, block block the odd CMC creature, the three, the two, three. Because extinction event for even is our answer, so that will kill the two two anyway. Um, yeah, if we could have cycled void beckoner, we could have taken this damage, put death touch on our creature, and then cycled killing their six six and gaining two life. Oh, we didn't draw it. And we would still be under the gun and dead to a removal spell, but they've only got one card in hand, and then we could have got there. Uh... Yeah, it's just we're, we're dead. I'm not. We're not. Dead, dead. Um, no. Mm. It's a, it's got first strike though. We can't even trade. We can chump. I guess, I guess we play because we've still got, we can still draw extinction event. We have one more turn to draw. Play planes, I guess. Uh, yeah. no, not sure. Unfortunately, I think we cycle Void back in here because that gives us two draws. Oh, we have to. Yeah, we have to do it now so we get another blocker. Uh, yes, Shamir, we could have survived on one if we hadn't blocked, but then we'd be dead this turn, regardless of what we drew, unless it was Extinction Event. At least by trading, we made our Extinction Event better if we drew it, and we've given ourselves one, effectively two more turns to draw it. Because we're cycling, so we got two more draw steps. So we've given ourselves three extra draw steps to hit the card we need to win, um, and we've made it better in the process by doing so. Okay, unfortunately we're going to have to do double chumps here. Uh, or do we have to? 
Uh, you don't have to. You can jump with the one more. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Oh, they're playing odd spell. Hmm. So I need to do cycler cycler. I mean, it's 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 done only one power, so that's fine. I need so we either need to string together some cycling or hit extinction uh, event, or spring door clap. Why not both? Hit cycler into cycler into extinction uh, event. We did not do either of them. So we're just dead. Um, we are dead on board. Yes. Yeah. Cool. I don't think we really. I don't think. Um, uh, even with the machine gun blast, I don't think we'd have won that one. I think we would have. Because every time we kill something, we gain two oh, life. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm so annoyed with myself for that. Because literally, I did it and I was like, no, I should not play that. And I fucking did it. Oh, that's so. So aggravating. So, so aggravating. Sorry about that. I fucked it. It's okay. Learn from the lesson. Yeah, I knew it as well. That's the thing. thing. It's, not, it's not as if like I was like, didn't know. I objectively knew that was the correct thing to do, and I fucking just played land first for some stupid reason. Mm. Oh. Did you see the Rebecca Gray and Seb McKinnon art for the? Uh, stretch goal on their Kickstarter. No. Let me get it up for you. Oh, match just started. I've Let me get it. I've seen some of it. I, I've got the email about it, so. Let's see if I can get it up. There's a lot of. Um, uh, is there. Is that the one with, like, little white girls sitting on no, the well? No, so that's, kind of that's the Drew. Drew Tucker one. Let's see if I can get it up there. I just I can't show one of one of the arts on account that um, Rebecca Gray's thing has a penis on it. But um, oh, is it NSFW? Yeah. Here it comes. That is. You could just post the I link. Could, I could post it. Like, look at your own risk. How pretty is that? I really like that. I think it's really pretty. Ooh. I do quite like that. I think it's gorgeous. It's it's very Das Rheingold. Rebecca Gay One has a penis just here. Just like a straight up penis. <laughs> <laughs> With Bellin and everything. So <laughs> he, he covered it. But um I think it's really pretty this this isn't the, the completely finished. He want he still this, this, he did this really quickly, so he's like doing gonna do some finishing touches on it. Uh, change some of the cut, uh, parts. Play, play your game. You, you keep going to time. Oh, so. you, right. uh, we're gonna bug on this one. Post, post the link in chat when we sideboard. <laughs> oh God, we're going to five. Why? Why is Heartless Axe still in our main deck? We should have swapped it. Uh, okay, crash to the bottom. I don't want to ship the fox, but I think we're going to ship fox. Um, yes. Uh, do we do we try and go in on fox plus three one? I oh, know we can't because it's, it's, it's non-human. Yeah, yeah, we ship. Okay, what do our opponent play? Uh, has our opponent just skipped this? The oh, okay, no, no, they played the triome. I want a triome. Right, they're in Tima, so we're fucks. Uh, let's play out of planes and pass it to them. They're not necessarily in Tima, they might be in two of the colours of Tima. Yeah, Tima's. but they have all of that access. Uh, do you know I'm going to... I'm considering playing this slow and just playing out this thing in next turn and just going for chip damage. Because I think... I, I know you want... I think you play the three one and then cycle it for the one one. Oh, fucking hell. 
I mean, I you, you do you. Well, we we got we like, got a turn to wait to see what happens on this. We got a turn. Let's play out the free one. If we draw another cycler, then I'll play out the stinger and wait and just just sit back and hope for it's enough. But I think they're gonna start playing big things. Oh, the fucking essence symbiote. Oh god, and the bushwhack. I got killed by a fucking 15-15 bushwhack. Was it 15-15? No, it was a 16-16 was bushwhack, whatever it was. That seems small. You could you can make them infinitely big. Oh, we drew another land. Alright, cycle away. I don't want to. Which, which is more relevant, a 2-2 two -two or a 1-1? One -one? One damage to the face. Void Beckoner. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I can attack him 3-1, but I th think that a trading of any of those would just be not ideal. Because I've got literally nothing. I mean, we've got half of a... And we're deeper into our deck. Must go deep. I mean, there is that. Let's update the rest force. We are. Oh, and two. <laughs> cool. They attack. That's a moral victory. They have um shock nade though. Oh, mercy, I see. Right. Uh. I mean, it's it's one of the very few reasons to play football. I'm. Shock now. I'll play out the unpredictable cyclone next turn and then just cross our fingers. Oh, we hit unpredictable cyclone. That's actually one of our best draws. It is one of our best draws. Are we going to start attacking now? It's probably it's probably the second best drawer in our deck. Oh, second S <laughs> second symbiote. They have only got two lands. Yeah. Clash of Titans. That's also nice to see. Uh, we could clash their two symbiotes. Do we do that now? Yes, we do it now before they start putting counters on Yeah, stuff. let's just do that now. Oh. I mean, it's it, it's spending five views that cost two, which feels super bad. But that, They're, they're going to be so much bigger than we if, can possibly deal with. Involved, they gain four life and two counters on it. So I don't think we can yeah, win. Yeah, I, I don't think we can step to whatever that's going to be doing. Uh, no, I'm not going to chip this way. I mean, it's too necessary. They're too necessary for us. Oh, um, useful tip for people watching: if you have this druid that taps for mana for a creature, you almost always want to tap it to cast a creature spell and leave open basic lands. Um, the reason for this is there are count spells in the format like convolute. And also, you might have instant speed effects. So, if you don't use it, then you can't you can't use it to pay for convolutes. So you want to tap it for the mana to hold open the four mana for convolutes. I'm fucking glad we did that, man. Because they hit a land the other yeah. way. The trump. So am I. That this is also another thing in Simic, which is just so hard to beat. Mm. Oh, the mama set. But I'm gonna play out the cyclone now. Yes. And there's no real reason not to play this land. Uh, unless we. Uh, no, uh, we, we could draw yeah. the thing, Norby. We could draw a Dino yeah, Boy. Let's keep it. There's no, there's no rule. There's no reward for us. I mean, the reason, the reason too, is. The reason too is because we might want seven mana next turn, but I don't think we will. The Ozolith. Spice. Oof. That's a card. That would be a sickeningly good card if you happen to have two essences. Divine, essence Divine Arrow makes me happy to see. Uh, play a prickly boy and yeah, pass. I'm, not gonna, I'm still not going to play that mountain just because now, now we have we actually do have the the mutate target. Any cyclers. Preferably creatures so that we can hit our giant 6-6 six, six trampler. It's nice that the whole deck's full of the fucking things. 
<laughs> he's saying his deck hates me. I'm like, I know the feeling. <laughs> Again, we've drawn nearly 50% of our land. Maybe we're playing one land too many. Well, we did multiply. Heartless Axe. Can't cast it. Fucking great. Come on, foxes. Or cycling into a fox. Or evolving one. Anything. Fuck it. I'll take... I'll take uh, oh, they've played, the, they've played the trap. <laughs> Luckily, they can't actually... Um, uh, They're too, too far, far off that. using it, but... They have, they have removal. Oh well. All right. Marmoset is not long for this See world. See you there, Shamir. Thanks for joining us. See you, Shamir. They play. Oh. Okay, Binary still kills it. So they're going to make a 3-3 beast. That's upsetting. So they're going to mutate, make a 3-3 beast, and draw a card. Seems good. And then attack with their 3-4 flyer. Yeah, which I'm going to the Binary. Mm -hmm. Please do. Oh, they did not attack. They're playing around the vine arrow, bastards. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's, it's a smart thing to do. They're playing around. Um, yeah, just the vine arrow at this point. Cycle that. Why am I cycling it? Because then you can get a different oh, creature. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a 1-1 one, one and a different creature. And if you hit a fox, you get black mana. Which then lets you cycle Void Barrow. I'll probably just hot this out. I'll, I'll, probably just hot, I'll just hot this out this, um, uh, this Heron. I know I know the, cy the, the, the cycling payoffs that have cycling are really sad when you have to yeah, cycle the away, fox. But that's what makes them really good. The fact that you can cycle them. Oh look, we hit a fox. What? Oh look, we get black mana. What are the odds? <laughs> Just like we drew it. Uh, I'm gonna heartless act there, Heron, whilst I can. Um, that will kill our cyclone and our oh. prickly marmoset. Why? Why? Because Heron's odd. No, no, heartless act. Heartless act. Not, not, not. Um. Uh... Oh, heartless act. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Oh yeah, heartless. Yeah, I'm gonna act. heartless. Um. The Heron. No, no, Heartless the Heron was I can. I thought you were talking about the other thing. Cool, right, it's gone. I still have the Divine Arrow up. I forgot we still have Heartless Action in our deck because it's been so terrible for us for most of the matches. Uh, I can attack with the Marmoset as well, actually, while I'm at it. It's a 4 3 first striker now, so I might as well. You do? In it goes. There you go, that was a good turn. That was a very good turn. I need to play quicker. I talk, you, you really forget how like much slower it goes when you talk through every single thing you do. Mm. Uh, unless yes, like, you're no. talking as you literally do, when you like you talk and criticize every single like or talking like critique each of your lines, like it goes so much slower. Yeah. Because I literally having someone having when you're doing it solo, I find it goes quite quickly still because I'm just running through thought processes in my head at normal speed and just saying them out loud. When oh, you're fuck. talking to someone else and you're having to wait for them to respond wish, and you're having a conversation, it I takes wish a we time. held up the Heartless Act now. They're mutating the Bone Lord Locker onto the Bushwag. When this creature mutates, that return target permanent from your graveyard to your hands. What are they getting? Probably Heron. Mm. Divine Arrow still kills it, which is good. They're, they might get back the uh, Trump Yeah, they're the Trump team now. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to Arrow that fucking thing if they attack. Uh, yeah. They don't attack, which lever. I mean, that's both good and bad for us. Will the Hunter, what do we hit? Uh, instance. Uh, we got rid of Clash of the Titans, which is our best hit. So, and Heartless Act, which we would also hit. So we just hit the other Will of the Hunter. <laughs> Pretty Which actually isn't that bad. Oh, we... Is the... Exile target. Do we have the exile target creature with CM with power four no, greater? Don't. I think we just do because if we hit the if we hit the other will of all hunters, our creatures are massive. I think we just do that, and we can also divine out if they. If they... I think we I think we attack with pr with prickly marmoset and then see what they do. I don't, they've only got one mana open, right? If I do this, 
all my creatures are going to get plus two, plus two. Okay, so we're going to have a three, three, uh, a seven, five, first striker, a three, three, a three, three. Why do all your creatures get oh, plus two, plus two? It's oh, target creature. I could, well, we could hit the, um, the charge. That is a good point and very well made. Yes. Oh. Uh, do it at instant speed, though. Send, send with the team and see how they block. But what if I don't hit the charge? Well, we, if they, if we summon the team and they miss block, we can just cast Will of the Will of the Old and Hunter. And Void in there as well. Actually, we can do both. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's go attack this because actually we could. Oh, maybe I should have played my mountain. But there we go. Uh, there was no need. All in. Uh, actually, we might have hit another cycler, so there might yeah. have been a need. But yeah, just send with, send with the clowns. Send in the clowns. Do you block? So they're probably going to try and play around plus two, plus one if they can, because that's smart. I mean, they still have got to play around this divine arrow as well. Okay, so they yeah. just blocked the beast. So let's. What did they block? Uh, just the beast, the three, three beast. They blocked the valiant rescuer. So I'm going to cycle the world of all hunters. Let's see what we get. Yep. Four days of charge. In the wheel. Yay. <laughs> Just like we drew it up. Uh, How much damage is this? Because we might have lethal if we cycle void back. One, two, then. three. So three, nine, twelve, fifteen. So I think we cycle void back now. Yeah. Yeah, that's lethal. If I played the mouse, I still would have had divine arrow as well. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's put Death Touch on that. Yeah, cool. Like they, they scooped up. Okay. <laughs> let's put the trap in. Unpredictable Cyclone. It's a good card. It is a, it, you know, it is a good card. It's just like, it's, well, by nature, unpredictable. This is true. Uh, Spring Draw Trap comes in... I didn't actually see a whole bunch of counters, mind you. I mean, apart from Do the symbiotes, the, like the Heartless uh, Act, they have they have a lot of mutate. The Heartless Act is fairly good against mutate. Yes, we don't have any um, naturalizers. Oh, we've got a wilt. Yeah, it's hard to cast. Is wilt naturalized? Wilt basically is naturalized. It cycles though. Yeah. <gasps> it cycles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bring it in. What what what's we destroying? Um, that one mana rock that does stupid things. Yeah, but it's really. I mean, we 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 might just be cycling it. In fairness, I'd probably just bring it in for the will of willable hunter. We're just we're just swapping a two mana cycler for a two mana cycler. Except instead of giving our creatures plus two plus giving a creature plus two plus two, we have the out to destroy that thing. Yeah, but the. <sighs> so. I mean, you don't have to. I'm, I'm merely suggesting it as a possibility. So Luchi, Lu, Luchi's it's coming out for spring draw clap. Uh, Wilt. I don't know, man. I don't think I saw enough to warrant the it being that much of a problem. Okay. Sure. I agree. When you see the Oslo, maybe maybe just playing the Oslo because he's like, Oslo is cool and. Well, he's playing the Oslo because he's got two creatures that give plus one plus one when things evolve. That'd be fine. Don't, don't worry so, about it, man. Don't worry about it. Right, we're keeping this. We've got Regal Leosaur, Prickly Marmoset, and Go for Blood. Yeah, snap. keep it. Uh, I'm. We'll keep it. I'm just questioning whether we actually play out the Leosaur or we mutate it onto Prickly Marmoset. There's no real reason to do it. On to... Oh, no, no, no. There's no reason. There's no reason. No. We play out. We play out the Leosaur. We cycle. Go for blood. Turn one. Oh no. We play Scar Baron. So yeah, I think I... we play Leosaur. We play Marmoset. We cycle. We hit them. Life's good. Okay. Thorn falls. I missed it here. Also remember they were stuck on mana for like the majority of that game as well. So 
this is true, but then they they did play f five two drops or less. So I'm not. Oh, we like, drew we drew the flying we drew the flying fox. Yay! Putting that on the prickly mom set makes me very happy. Our combos are finally coming together. Uh, Clash of Titans. Let's play out the Regal Leosaur. Uh, even though we've got that mutate thing, I think we just play on curve. Yeah. Uh, well, a 2-2 does nothing on this board, so maybe not. Yeah. Oh, I've played a bigger thing. That's fine, because actually... We our prickly mom set will be able to fight that thing. Mm -hmm. uh, right, let's play out the prickly mom set. And we only need to draw one more mana. We got access to Clash of Titans. We got a couple of foxes actually. Fucking hell. <laughs> they just mutate the trumping gnar and the trumping gnar. <laughs> Christ. Well, that's the. That's an oof. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. That's what we call a big oof. It is a very fucking big oof. That is nice. Oh, speaking of big oof, did you see my um, modern game? The picture that I saw. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I can. Oh, I need another one, Manus Dirt. I think we wait a turn to do it. We put Fox on Marmoset. Fox on Marmoset. Um, the reason to do this is because it gives it more than three toughness, and green has a bunch of deal damage equal to power or fight effects. And so we want the, we want fox. Uh, we want mama set out of range. Doesn't really matter. They're both two three, so we'll put the fox on top. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to attack with it. We'll hold it back next turn. I can. Next turn, I can cycle Void Beckoner. Hopefully, we hit. If we hit a land, I can Void Beckoner. Oh, the symbiote. If we hit a land, we Clash of Titans, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Uh, if we hit a land, we, we, we definitely Clash of Titans in two. Uh, we did not hit a land, we hit a Farfinder. Which is like hitting a land, but not quite. That's good enough. I would far find a for your forest, and then I guess go for go blood, killing the their... thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So because we can always clash of titans to kill both three threes, like it's it's still okay. Okay. So sleep. And then we get our forest, and we can crash the next turn. Okay. So left a mountain up. Oh, and then we can attack with Crash of our block with two three threes. We make them fight, deal six damage, gain a six six. Uh, forest, forests. Every everything's coming up to thrill house. Can they do anything with one green mana? Um, yes, there are pump effects, but I don't think we have an option. We've got to do it because they've now got five mana okay sorry they've got six mana so they can potentially like mutate again yeah and if it mutates again i think we've got such a huge problem they get six power per mutate okay cool that that worked uh i still don't really feel the need to attack uh, i could do mm. i think we hold back because our three four is holding off essentially eight power worth of dorks yeah. So trading four, f trading three for eight. Oh, okay, good. I don't think our fox is living a turn. Oh no, that can't kill it. Uh, deals three damage. Okay, cool. They they played they played. Hey, what up this? <laughs> <laughs> that is good to see. Okay, it's so brilliant. play trampler. 
uh, play Crasher. Assuming we draw, draw nothing relevant. Draw Swamp. Yeah. There's an argument to Clash of Titans, but I don't. S not with them having open no. mana, and not when we can play a six-six trampler that makes us other tramplers. Plus, Clash being source uh, being instant means that we can use it as a combat trick to get our Crasher through to make start looping chain stuff. Let's play a Swamp out. Let's just. I know it isn't going to make a difference, but I'm just going to hold up white and black just in case they think that we have something. Yeah, but. Uh... They've got a Thormund Falls. They might have four spike. <laughs> no, no. It's in terms of they. If I, uh, if I take it back, season make it hold up to individual mana. Then. Mm. Okay, putting Death Touch on this is absurd. Oh yeah, I mean we're we're doing e we're either clashing of Titans to keep it alive, or we're giving it Death Touch, dependent on what they yeah. do. The world is not fully known or respected. Death Touch Trample for quite some time. Okay, so the, that's going to get a bit big, but that's fine. So they're going to draw a card here. They played Heron on the Symbiote. So it's going to be a 4-5 Flyer. That's okay. And they're tapping out for Fertilid. Uh, Fertile is very good. Really good, very very good in this format because mutate and then having two counters on the creature you mutate is surprisingly strong. Thundermane, that's really good. Thundermane would be very good. Yeah. Uh, how much mana do I have? One, two, one, two. No, not enough to do. Not enough to all in one turn. So, question: We, how do we think they're blocking? Because if we think they're gonna single block we could play Thundermane to cycle void beckoner if we think they're gonna double block we want to hold clash of the titans so i think we just send in with the crasher now and see how they block and hold open clash of titans yeah 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 okay so go combat now they might throw the entire team in front of this which wouldn't which would probably be a smartish thing to do but then they play into Void Beckoner. They're putting the whole team into there. Okay, can we clash and keep our creature alive, or do we have to Void Beckoner? What? How big is the Heron? It's a four five. I don't think we can keep it alive. So we can. We can't keep it alive. If we clash a Heron and a token. Then we deal them. That kills that. Semi one. We, we that. Yeah, we don't. We don't kill all their creatures. So we have to. We have to void back in there. Sadly. That goes three. Yeah. So that goes down to two, and this dies. So it'd be three two. Well, it just leaves them with a first lid. It leaves them with a first lid, but so we we can clash, leave them with a the first lid, and ho and have a combo in hand. Or we can void Beckoner, kill their creatures, deal them two damage, gain a two-two, and draw a card and still have Clash of Titans in hand. And as much as I want to see this Thundermane combo come off, I think it's better to have an extra two-two and deal them two damage and draw. Okay, the card. so I'm gonna block the Heron first, and I'm also going to Clash of Titans the two beasts. Yeah. Uh, I mean, unless you want to just, I oh, we could just leave them with the beast and get rid of the first lid. We could clash Titan to first lid just... and the beast, and that's enough. Uh, no, it's not. No, it's no. not. Okay, clash Titan two beasts. No, 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 no. We we cycle Void Beckoner. Really? Because that that wipes out their entire How team. How does it? Because it gives it death touch. Okay, fine. Yeah, okay, fine. Cool, cool, cool. And then we get a two two from the we get a two two trampler out of this deal. Really? Yeah, because we, we deal one damage to each of the four blockers, trample up, so that's four damage, trample over for two, make a two two because of Crash's ability. Okay, so okay. Let's cycle the Void Beckoner. I, I really wish we played Thundermane first, but I think holding open Clash was better in case they tried to double block with their three threes. 
that maybe that's greedy. Uh, cool. We're back down to six minutes on the clock, which is great. And we'll play out the fund main and pass it back to them. Thunder main first. Yeah, I'll play Thunder main. Yeah, don't worry. No, no, I'm sad that we didn't play it. First. I mean, we couldn't do that all in the same turn. Yeah. You need one more mana to be able to do that all in the same turn. Uh, because that's, that was the whole kind of thing of why we didn't play it. Yeah, I know. I yeah. know. I'm just sad. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. And we won. They just scooped. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, we're one and two. Oh man, I have to hang out with you more to talk you through more games. Yeah, we need to, we need to talk through a bit quicker. I tell you what, I'm gonna be two seconds, <laughs> and that's just cancel the sports. I need sure. I need to get some some water in me. All right, All right two sure seconds. Thing. Yeah, go for it. I'm back. You there, Pip? Oh, yeah, cool. I'm here. Oh, also, so just for a point of bad news, let's join this play a league match. So it's definitely going to get banned now, uh, unfortunately, because what it is? Because usually when I buy a card, it gets banned. Um, I got. Well, what's going to get banned? Sorry. My um, uh, my playset of. Foil Force of Fur Vigors. Which I know you hate. For Why is Force? Why is not, Force not, of Vigor? Not, for, not Vigor Force of Vigor. Vigor. Amulet of Vigor. Amulet of Vigor. Ah. Why is Amulet going to get banned? I think. Oh, because you bought. You've got a foil yeah. playset. You know I have um, some foils that I opened from my mystery boosters, right? I think I I got a couple of them anyway. I just got I. It was uh, they were saying as a playset, so I bought the playset. I think it's I think it's Sick. gonna be the best deck in the format. I mean it's it's already up there. Um I don't think Ikora helped it at all. No, I don't think he did either. Uh not that it really needed it, I guess. Um I kinda want to keep this. Actu actually it can play uh it can play the even companion because all of its permanents are even right and those what does that one do you can you can build um i, know, what, I don't what does it right. actually do oh it's the the, the six man <laughs> the six mana six six that um looks at the top four cards of your library probably quite good and six mana six six mill top four cards of uh oh, the, library choose oh, a the, from among it and put the broken one, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can, it can play that because you just you play you just play two, four, and six, and you just cut out the. Oh no, because you're playing amulet. So um, if you cut amulet, you can just play old-fashioned Valakut with two, four, six as your curve and play that instead. <laughs> so, um, that's a kind of a joke. I kind of want to keep this. We haven't got God. red, but I've got. Yeah, no, we Drana, keep this. Fundamain, go for blood. No, no, we absolutely, we absolutely keep this. We've got two, one, and a cyclos and a foxfinder. Just need to hit a land. Did we did we make the main deck switch of Heartless Act out for Spring Trap? Oh, of course in? not. Why would we? We're not <laughs> fuck, fuck that shit. 
Okay, uh, we did not hit that. We will pass that. Cycle, go for blood. Yeah. Not the stinger? Not the stinger. Mm. Stinger's more useful. I don't think stinger's a good card. You, you, you're really high on it, I'm personally like, it's very meth. I know, I've, I, I, I think but, I've just um, been hit by, by multiples of it and it just really screwed me. Look, don't, don't get me wrong. In draft, it's a solid card because the red cycling deck is pretty good in draft as you can pull it there off. We... Um, to the point where it might actually just be the best deck in the format if in draft. If Thunder you can main. Get it. Thunder main sticks. <laughs> but in sealed, it's meh. Ooh, we got Thunder main. Yes. Online. Sick. Come on. Draw the fucking black cycler. Uh, I will not block. Did they send? Do they what? Did they send in? Yeah, yeah they, they sent, sent in. in. Okay. So they either have plus one, plus zero oh in first strike, or they're bluffing, or they have plus two, plus. So this question: Do I play the pretty marmoset set and then just wait a turn and then I start going to town? I think I do. Uh, yeah, play prickly marmoset set and then start sending after that. Uh, do it. Don't attack here. Oh. 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 Convolute. Okay. Now now you can attack if you want. Actually quite glad they convoluted that and not uh Farfinder. Yeah. Okay, so I'll attack in here. They want they, they can block if they want, but they can't kill my thing. Yeah. Next turn, what the fuck am I doing? Let's see what they play. If they play something that I can, that I can shoot with the with the cat, I'll shoot it down. Mm -hmm. Four mana. They play heron. I can't shoot down the heron. Oh, the fucking cycling onto that fucking thing. God, I wish I killed it now. Mutating. Yeah, yeah I'm not. Well, that's why you play. That's why you play the gremlin, not because of its ability, but because it's a mutate target. Yeah. Okay, so getting with that. We've got a mountain. We're gonna we're gonna fox. We're gonna fox for yeah. We're fo we're fo fox uh, for uh, green. Fox for for green. Play it, and then play crasher, and that's that's good enough to race as long as they don't counter it or kill it. Yeah. They play anything silly, we've got Clash of Titans as well. Okay, mm -hmm. so they're spending their blue mana on Ominous Seas. Okay. Sure. That's a, a very good card in Sealed. It will get you an 8-8 eight eight eventually. Um. It would be totally worth splashing in this deck, by the way. If we'd opened one, we might have been five colours. <laughs> uh, extinction is not good for us right now. Uh, okay. I think we just attack in. Play the f play the forest first. And then just attack in. And then at and then attack in. Let me go to attacks. I still think they have um, plus one, plus one, first strike in their hand. They have something. Oh, it untaps the creature. Yeah, that's. Uh, mm -hmm. Fine. Nothing we can really do about that. No. One, one, two. No, no. 
three, four, five. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have attacked with this cat. Yeah, probably not. In fact, I we knew they had that. Why did we attack with the cat? I'm I'm sorry, I'm being an idiot. I'm not really paying attention. That's all right. Oh well, play Crasher. Wait, is it a four four now? Oh, we could um have Clash no, it's Titan. first right. I oh, know it's two 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 two. Yeah, that's okay. I was thinking it was deal damage equal to itself because I'm not really concentrating still. Okay, so one more counter on Omnisys. We still do the Extinction Event. Yeah, we have Extinction Event, we have Clash of Titans. Okay, they're attacking, so they've got something. Well, there's probably more combat tracks, which is fucking annoying. Mountain. Hmm. Uh, swamp combat. Hit. I mean, this is a two turn clock if they have nothing, but they they do have something. They probably have the one and a blue bounce. They have. Oh, even worse. Uh, capture sphere. Uh, okay, Clash of Titans then. Yeah. While well, they tapped out. Uh, that. We'll fight that. And now, if we extinction event for even, Capture Sphere yeah. dies. So we really want them to, like, play land six drop. That would be good. Evens also takes out um, Omnisys. Yeah, well, that's that's why. We're, we're getting a two-for-one on evens already. If we play a third thing, I think oh, we just take the yes. value. yes! They've played another even. Uh, so shall I cycle this Dranith thing? Oh, no, too late. I tap through. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the correct answer was yes, you should have cycled. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Right. Extinction event and then just play it, I guess. Actually, it's still better just to cycle. <laughs> it's always better just to cycle. Is it though? <laughs> no, I want to play it. Uh, pretty much. Uh, unless unless they're at five or less life, you really just want to cycle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's each, it's, it's, each, it's, it's each creature. It's not permanent. It's creature, mm -hmm. not permanent, man. Extinction events. Do, have I been misreading it the yes. entire time? I'm a moron. Ignore me. Can we can we cut this rock from the vod? Fuck! I'm playing. I'm, I'm playing. Like I'm, I'm playing out this thing. Out. A sequence of horrendous misplays. Well, you should play it now because now you don't have a clock. Yeah. Oh, that's so bad. Reading the card explains the cards. On the seas gets another counter. <laughs> it's an ominous build up there. Oh, this is bad. We should bring a wilt. Oh no, they're just cathartic reunions. <laughs> I wish I had that extinction event now. <laughs> We've used all our premium removal. We just need to chain cyclers together now. Uh, oh, yeah. That's, that's not well, a cycler. Will that, will that even no. help? Let's go to combat. Yeah, we should really cut a land from our deck. <laughs> Play land. My turn. Seven counters. It's coming. There's the eight. Oh no, it hasn't mutated yet. Okay, they played a four, a five, four. Quick, kill it. Oh, fucking land. We do another land. Oh, uh, I can't. We might be dead here. I can't attack. We just need to, we literally just need to chain cyclers and we can kill them. Yeah, but we'd need to chain eight cyclers. Yeah, but we'll, we'll be fine. We'll get them. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. They could. They have access to a, to I'm a to worry. now. I'm not worried. I just don't think we're mm. gonna win. Mm. Uh. 
Yorion has ant has answered the battle. What? <laughs> Why are they playing that? Because why not? It's still, it's still, it's still a four-five flyer for yeah, five. But why would you not just make a sixty-card deck and you have it as a companion? Because. Because. I mean, if you don't have enough player balls, fair enough. But I have yet to see a sealed deck in this format which doesn't have enough player balls for a sixty-card oh, deck. Loot. Not good player balls, but like, at least decent filler. We're dead. We just drew loot tree. Uh, yeah, we're dead. Punt. Yeah, that was a punt. I I will take responsibility. For oh, this I, I mean, I could have read the card as well, man. No, no, I fucked up on two counts. One, I I I, I said exactly. Oh uh, yeah, we know they have the one mana plus one plus seven first strike, but it's fine. You can attack into it, and then we attacked into it. Like, oh, this wrecks us. Shit, why did we do that? And then. Misreading the. I don't think we can come back from this. There's nothing we can draw that gets back to. No, we're dead. We, I mean, we're dead to the flyer. We have to double chump. We we don't have enough weight. We can't kill all three. Right, what are we bringing in? Probably hmm. the spring draw trap again. Spring draw trap. Loot tree. For heartless for heartless act. Wilt for loot tree. Uh, I don't think I didn't see any counters. Heartless act was fine. There was no counters going around. Mm, okay. Wilt is an is a is a is a thing. I would be tempted. Wilt the Willable Hunter. Or Wilt the Heartless Act. One of the two. Heartless Act actually kills something. Yeah, let's put it like that. Uh, yeah, we'll play first. And we get... Something keepable, please? God, I felt so good about that game, and then just all of a sudden I felt... Well, if we hadn't attacked with our cap, I think we'd have, we'd have won. Actually, we wouldn't have won, but we'd have been in significantly better off. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this is slow but keepable. We've got all of our lands in our hand, that's for certain. We've actually got five lands. That's fine. We've got... Yeah, keep it. Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, fi it's legitimately fine. Um, we can get... Evolving worlds for a. No, no, oh, we'll, no, we'll, we'll, sca we'll scout Baron Scout Mountain. Evolving worlds. Yeah. Uh, we'll just play out the Stinger. Uh, play out the Lyrosaur. I don't think a 2 2 does very much against them. Then, then why are you playing the Stinger and not cycling it? Poking for damage. Just. Yeah, then, then play the Lyrosaur. Because at least it's a mutate target for our other mutate creatures. both of them. Let's see, let's, let's, no, let's see, what, just see what we draw. Let's, 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 let's play the list. Let's, let's, cycle let's, see what, let's see what we draw. <laughs> well, things we're not. <laughs> we're gonna have. The, we're gonna keep this fight up, aren't well, we? Well? Next turn. Yeah. Next turn we, we, we uh, Next turn we're playing a two mana two yeah. two. Would you rather play a two mana two two that occasionally does one damage when you cycle it, or a two mana two two that is a valid target for mutate? Bearing in mind that the, one of them you can cycle away for an extra card should you wish. I want to play this thing. Don't play out the stinger, Mark. I'm playing out the stinger. If you play out the stinger, I promise you you'll draw the fox and be super sad. I'll play out the stinger. <laughs> God damn it, Mark. <laughs> Come on, fox. Give me a psychic card, please. <laughs> If, what, what would it even matter? Yeah, now my psychic card. Now my, is the one damage relevant? No. On from starting from turn two, I feel it does. It does make a difference. There we go. We drew another one. Okay, so you're gonna play this one or cycle this uh, one? I'll cycle this one. Oh, I don't know. T t See, no. Now, I, now I think you should. Yeah, play actually, it. I think I should play that. It's <laughs> really the, the second one's really good. You should play the second. I'm not gonna attack with with this one though. Uh, yeah, you should Why? attack. Don't attack first because they might not divine arrow it, thinking it's just a two-two, and then play the second one. 
And then if they divine out, you know to cycle the second one. <gasps> it did damage. Fucking A. Go on, play the second one. Yep. And evolving wilds yeah. for forest, please. This is the only scenario in which it was correct to play the first scene. Ah, they cycled. And it still might not they be They cycled good theirs. They don't know the power. <laughs> uh, you mean they, the power of like exchanging your dorky 2 2 for any relevant card? On this board, it is infinitely better than the Leosaur. I don't know about that. What are we going to play? Go on, play something shit. Farfinder. Okay, it's not, that's not shit, but it's. Um... So it's still exactly the same as the Leosaur. Alright, I'm just going to crack this now. Go get a forest. Oh, we can cycle that. Uh, the Valiant Rescuer. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Hold up the white black. Cycle it yeah. first, I think. <laughs> we'll cycle it first before I play a land. I'll play the mountain if we play anything we can do. Cycle. Well, we might draw a relevant two yeah. drop. Another cycler. Do we play the Leo Saw or do we cycle the crystal? Uh, we play the Leo Saw. Probably makes sense. And I just attack in actually as well, because it's only 1 1. Yeah. Because now they have to play something to deal with our board, and then we can cycle crystal next turn. They didn't block. They must want to put the hair on it. Do you know what would be really bad here? A wrath? Extinction event. Uh, Not so much, because all of our things are even. Two. Yeah, so if they extinction event, we're very bad. Oh, ho, ho, ho. They use the removal spell on the Leosaur. Fine with that. Fair enough. Tapped out, they hit for one. That might end up killing them. Yeah. Divine arrow. Uh, I think we cycle first. Cycle, yeah, cycle first. Uh, We'll use, we'll use the two mountains because I can play a mountain if it needs be. Uh, oh, you're learning. Uh, there's no reason to keep a forest, actually. Uh, yeah, well. Yeah, you're right. Deal two, we draw. The Crusher, very nice. Uh, play out this mountain. Go combat. Down to seven. And toss it back to them. So they're probably gonna like cycle. They're probably gonna mutate a heron or something. I can imagine. Yeah. We still got divine arrow if they want to. They, they didn't see it from last game. Five mana. Yarium. Mm. Which is fine because I've got extinction event on odd. Yeah. Probably just do that. Do that, hit them to three, and then two cyclers is lethal. Planes, step out of planes. Not deciding. So let's just do that. Let's extinction event. Naming odd. Go a mountain. Go a combat. Down to three. 
We probably should have held that mountain by now. Yes, we probably should have done. But we can make them think we've got a cycle card in hand. I don't think they can beat a cycle card, so I don't think Spike they can. Spike Dragon and... Spike Dragon's a good card. Like Very a really good, card. good cards. Like I wouldn't be surprised this gets play in older formats. Um, they it will it might see some play in Pioneer, but I don't think it'll get through to mob. Sort of like a like a two mana storm payoff. Well, it's not a payoff. You have to put play it before you storm, and it's a fragile creature. It's a fragile creature, but then you're storming off. Uh, they killed one one of the things. Yeah, but if you're storming off, why not just grape shot and kill them? It's 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 um more of a oh, what's what's the stupid red um two mana that gets plus two plus zero whenever you play a non creature spell. Okay, I'm going to attack. If they block, I'm going to divine arrow it, and then I can play yeah. the crasher at the same time as well. Uh, can I? Yes, I can. Yes, yeah. you can, and you should. Okay, let's go attack. Would you like to trade? It's going to bug me. What's the main creature in Is It Blitz? Uh, the Nivix Cyclops. No, the the two mana one. Uh, Kill Feed. Yes, it's at, that is at its best in a Kill Feed strategy, not in a Storm strategy. Okay, yeah. and yes, I you're true, and I, it might not be. Good I think enough. it's best in the Kill Feeds. Is it? It's only one plus one plus it's one. It's a counter, not just plus one plus one, and it's got flying and haste. So it's got evasion, it attacks the turn it comes in, and there is a permanent buff. Yeah, but it's it's a permanent buff, but in modern, you just fatal well, push it. Yes. It's not pauper to kill. If it were common, it would see play in pauper for sure, but uh, so why, modern, so why, okay, like, okay. if you're kiln feed, you're very... So old. why is it better than a kiln feed? It's it's like if if you're better than Kiln Fiend in Pauper because Pauper doesn't have as much unconditional. Okay, but if you're playing Kiln Fiend in like modern, I'm not sure what you're doing Kiln Fiend in modern. Mm -hmm. But if you're playing, it's just it's a better card. No, it's Why not. Why is it not better than a Kiln Fiend? Because a Kiln Fiend can kill you with um, five spells cast, uh, and this can only kill you with ten. Right, we got a Void Beckoner. I could s cycle it now. We cycle it, yeah. Because we might hit um, a removal spell that lets us just win this turn. What are we putting Death Touch on? The Trampler. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. You should put it... Uh, actually, if you put it on the Trampler, then they can't win with creatures next turn. They have to kill your thing. But if you put it on your tutu, then if they do kill your thing, then your tutu is more relevant. I think you put it on the trampler. Because yeah. now they can't just throw a bunch of toughness in front of it. Uh, we do Thunderbane, which our mana is really awkward, so we can't do anything with it. Uh, we pass them. There's no real point for shipping the this thing underneath the Frost Inks. No. Uh, absolutely not. Because if we draw a cycler, then we can play Thunder Main and cycle and kill the Frostlings anyway. Cool. Got that one. Uh, I think we just ship it back. Yep. Those stingers did such good work that time, man. How much damage did they end up dealing? Uh, I don't know. Six? No, no, not not from attacking, just yeah, from cycling. Six. So there's two of them out there. I think we cycle three times. Uh, this is pretty good. We've Maybe. got... Ooh, yeah, very good. I think I'm fine with this. We don't really, we don't really pressure, but we can keep them off stuff, I think. We really want to hit um, Cyclone. Yeah. All right, Windspell Crag, it's fine. Or, cr or Crasher, actually. We can cast Crasher, too. Uh, we hit the Stinger, which I will play out on turn two. 
There's no reason not to play it on turn. I think on turn on like in late in no, late no, game, no. I, I I agree. I I, I agree with you. Uh, like, that yes, actually no no no. It's it. um the sprite dragon's getting hot attacked as soon as it possibly can. That's what's that's that's yeah. that is that is oh, oh, that is the new sure. that, that is that is the new turn too. <laughs> And then we can play crystal into. What was that? We're not going to crystal. We're not. We're not going to crystal and cycle the stinger. Crystal and then cycle the stinger. What? There's no. There's no. There's... Unless we draw. Unless we draw a better play, like it's just mana efficient and good, right? Yeah. I just no. I just, I just, no. I'm going to play stinger. I'm going to play stinger. God, come on. I'm going to play stinger. Be reasonable. Be reasonable. Mark. I think it's objectively the best thing. Uh, it's, it's turn three. Turn three is absolutely fine. Well, are you going to play the crystal or the stinger? And I think you should play the crystal because then you have five mana on turn four. But I don't want to cycle the stinger away. I mean, you don't have to cycle the stinger away, but you should still play the crystal. Right? And then once you play the crystal, you have five mana next turn, but nothing to cast. So you should cycle the stinger to find something. If it, come, if it comes down to it, we'll do that. If it comes down to it, we'll play. We'll, 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 we'll do some ramping. I'm not going to cycle the stinger just yet. But that, you increase the chance of you hitting a relevant five drop on turn five. I've got a relevant five drop. I've got Clash of Titans. That's not relevant on this board state. He's playing C, so play the play an X one. Yeah. Cycle the stinger, Mark. We'll see. Okay, so they've got three four minute vigilance. That's pretty good. What other five drops do we have? Uh, Cyclone, Crasher. We also have a bunch of four drops that would be okay to hit. I well, play a four drop next turn anyway. Yeah, but. If you play the four drop, then you can't play the stinger, so you might as well cycle it to increase the chances of you hitting a four drop. Cycle it. You you basically want more relevant cards in your hand, and a two two doesn't do a lot on the current board, so cycling it is clearly better. Let me do this trap. Uh. Okay, so we can kill the nothing. Uh, let's leave up this it... five mana, right? Yeah. So let's. Yeah. Evolving, evolving no, 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 wilds. No, 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 no. For... We, we, we don't play evolving wilds. If we don't play evolving wilds, yeah, we don't. We, have, we don't have to play evolving wilds just yet. But I have five mana. I have, I have five mana open right now, which means that I have access to clash of titans and also uh, spring door trap. Yes. And I also have the green that I need for the. Um... How big is that get? That becomes. It becomes a uh, three four. Oh, that's so annoying for Clash of Titans. Do I? Uh, let let it resolve, and then in response to the plus one plus one counter trigger, kill it. Okay, so. Okay, it mutates. Okay, now I respond. So. Yes. Trap. It's a trap. That is some. Sorry, had to be done. <laughs> that is sick plays. That's a blowout. Fuck yes. See, I wish that mutate if you killed the creature that was being mutated onto in response, the spell fizzled like an enchantment. Yeah. I know it. I know it really feels bad for new players, and it's. I mean, I mean, bestow like, work. Best really upsetting, but it it just makes sense. It does, but bestow bestow wasn't the same way like that. Bestow bestow also dropped in. Yeah, but the the, the the key difference between this and bestow is bestow was always more expensive than casting the creature. You had to pay extra mana for, for the bestow. Was it always? And that's that's a, that's a fine safety net. Yeah, every single bestow creature. The bestow cost was more than the creature cost, but mutate is the other way around. Most of the mutate costs are less than the creature. 
Yeah. So you're actually getting like a cheaper creature with mutate if you can work out some kind of self bounce flicker sacrifice. But there's no but reason, any reason that you would. That wasn't there's the no case. real reason why you would actually want to flicker your own creature in response to it because you want the mutate trigger. Yeah. Well, there is to make the creature you're casting cheaper. Well, yeah, yeah like, no, but, but, but if but the creature costs five mana and you can mutate it for four mana and flicker the creature in response to get both creatures, why would you not? Because the mutate trigger. Like, there's, there's no reason. Uh, it depends on what the mutate trigger is. They're usually good. Like, you, you usually you would like the creature and the mutate ability as opposed to just. Like, I don't know why. I don't. I don't know why you would. Why you would personally want to bounce your creature in response to it to just put your own creature into your hand if you had like an onboard flicker effect like you just do that you... i don't know there's the there's the salt eye one that's it costs six mana but you can mutate it for five yeah, mana, but, it, but and it's just a six six trampler and its mutate ability is you can cast it from the graveyard yeah, but then you just but there's no so, but there's no upside to having just that as opposed to it being a mutated creature yeah there is because if you if you let's say you mutate a six six onto a one one five yeah. mana you've saved a mana and then if you flicker the 1-1 one, one in response, you still have the 1-1, one, one, so you can mutate it from the graveyard later if they kill your 6-6. Six, six. Well, it depends on the... the, 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 the Whereas the, if, it, depends if it resolves and they kill it, then you lose both creatures. Right, I'm going to get this forest out because there's no real reason to have it in the deck. No. We have drawn a lot of lands. We have. Hey, that's good. What uh, is that 6-6? Six, six. Oh. And... He must have heard us talking about him. Tempted to fight the two creatures there, though. But why it does not? Well, kill one. It'll kill it, one. It kills their three, four. Mm. Yeah. Meh. We we hold Clash of Titans, so if they try and do something crafty like double block, we can clash and still get through on the trample. Right. What say you, opponent? We only have six minutes ten. Fucking hell, we talk too much. Obviously, if they capture Sphere here, that's worst case scenario, but mm, yeah, we... I don't think we can play around that anyway. No, we can't. I mean, if we'd clashed, we'd bought ourselves a turn, but... Yeah. Right, so they've given uh, that. Okay. They've got flying, so we're going to hit down. That makes me more likely to want to uh, clash them. Oh. Well, we're going to have to. We're actually going to be dead on board. We're going to take 7, go to 11, and they'll have a 4-4 four, four, um, clash. No, we fight our creature and the Aryan. Oh, true, but true, But I true. do that after combat. Oh. Yes. They also have Spring Draw Trap. Yeah, they don't have that. They can't, can't do anything with it yet. Um, no, the question is if I do it before combat, they will kill a course. If I do it after it, they may they may block. Uh... Wait, you you're dead yeah, on board. I've got, to, I've, got to, I've got to attack. No, no, you're just dead on board. No. Because they just attack with their flying three four, and then string will trap you. Oh fuck yeah. The only way you survive is if they block. Which would make no sense to do, so you're just dead. Who knows? Maybe they maybe they maybe they punt and they play a creature. Spring Clash of Titans. Hmm. They play if they play a big creature, no, they've just they've they've seen the line. They've seen the line of attack. I'm still going to annoy them. You're wasting your own clock and you've only got four minutes left. So what, this is game three, right? No, good point. I thought it was two, game two. Is it game two? Is it game three? We go to one. Oh, yeah, they, they, they've seen it. They've seen it. They've seen it. <laughs> <laughs> we go to one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was... Um, it was that sh it was it was round three. That's unfortunate. Womp womp. Yeah. Uh, with that, I will probably drop.
people because we can't win prizes. Seems sensible. Yeah. It is what it is. Right. I've got to go watch some JoJo. And... I've got to go eat some food. Yeah. I've got to eat some food as well. I, I should say that. I don't need to. I said, I've ate so much fucking ham. I'm actually not that hungry, but I feel like I should be eating some of that ham. I'll send you a picture of it, Pip. It's fucking uh, massive. Make, make, yeah, please do send me a picture, but make some char shoot. I, I'm going to look at I've got to do something. I mean, it's, it's like last so last week. It's going to sound like, it's gonna sound like I've been hoarding. Uh, or, was it, or was it two weeks ago? Last week or two weeks ago, I double clicked. So I've been doing this uh, fresh food delivery, which has been really good called first choice produce so they used to basically supply restaurants and because now they can't really supply many restaurants they supplied us uh well, while supplying to the public um so it's really mm-hmm. nice stuff to do like veg box and all that sort of stuff but i ordered some eggs off them good quality eggs they come on trays of 30 and i misclicked and i clicked click two trays so i had, s- <laughs> I had 60 eggs that arrived at my house I'm like fuck so I like I made like a pavlova. I made a crepe, a creme yeah. patissiere with because I have I didn't have any milk. I only had oat milk, so I had to make a creme patiss- a creme patissiere yeah. with oat milk, which was oaty <laughs> to go. Did you have um? Do you have any icing sugar? Uh, yes, I do. I do. So I so you can you can make royal icing. So you could make um. Yep. Yeah. So, so I've made uh, I've made milfoy. I've made uh a spiced coconutty ginger cake um okay i've made pavlova creme tissiere i've made many many spanish omelets and other omelets during the day i've made fucking what else have i made custards i've made i've made so much stuff i've we've now so it's two weeks and we're down to eight eggs so we've our cholesterol is through you the should roof. try you should have made um, fresh egg pasta and carbonara. Didn't have enough uh, flour. Otherwise, that would have been up my list. I if I had, if I could get, fl- if I could get Ooh. flour delivered, then yeah, I would have been making pasta and all sorts. But I didn't have, I didn't have enough flour to do proper baking. One, my next kind of thing I want to try and do is get a proper flour delivery, and then also try and find like some fresh yeast so I can start making my own bread again. Oh yeah, we're we're doing sourdough. At our yeah, house. it's a good, it's a good, it's a good shout. What you what you should what I'd have done in your position is I'd have doubled down on my ramen and I'd have made like a bunch of pickled eggs and soft boiled eggs and um, oh I mean you know cured eggs. I mean for my, that. my soft boiled eggs are also happening because I've been like cool I've got a sad well I guess I'm gonna put some e- e- eggs on a soft boiled egg in my sad today. Oh, here's a here's a fun thing you can do if you have a lot of salt and sugar to spare, you can separate the egg yolk and white and then um um. Not what was salt cure like cure oh cure the yolk or dry brine the yolk so good isn't it and then leave it in like an off oven and then you can grate it over pasta yeah it's really nice so we I've uh, my old one of my old colleagues the the food evangelist he did that so I he took it to like a more of like a gel set at one point and he had it as like a he put it on top of like a steak so it was almost like a hollandaise in itself Ooh. so like it it was just like this really nice super like super seasoned uh yolk that when you cracked it just kind of melted onto the onto the thing like a hollandaise which was awesome and then yeah again it's seen, i've seen it where they've taken it super hard and you grate it over your pasta i uh, here's the thing i don't actually eat eggs do you not oh you said you don't do no. you yeah like allergy wise or just like I, I, I do a lot of cooking with eggs and i make eggs for other people and i like I, I recognise that they're great and awesome, and I love them, but I just don't like the taste of plain egg. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. But like, I, I, I can get I can get behind the idea that people don't like the thing. But like, there's so much in cooking. Like that, I I was trying to think this the other day when someone was saying like, oh, I don't, uh, I don't have eggs in anything. And I'm just thinking like, fucking hell. Like, so I, so I was I used to be a chef, and I was like, I'm not sure quite what I no, cook about that, eggs. That's doable. I have um, I have like an old family friend who's allergic to them. Yeah, it's a hard one to be allergic to, though, because eggs are in a lot of things. I mean, it's eggs are in a lot of things, but it's easier than something like wheat or gluten. Mm. Yeah, gluten's hard not to have. Right, I will eat food. Thank you, Pip. That was it. Was unfortunately we went three and what? Uh, uh, one and three. Mm. But I don't think. I mean, there was a maybe maybe a punt here and there, but I don't think we had like 
game lost. I think mean, there were definitely definitely a couple of points, and I think there was at least one game losing punt. Yeah, I don't, but I'm not sure if it would have made a dip. Well, actually, looking at it, it probably would have made a difference in a couple of these. Um, yeah. But yeah, fuck it. That it happens. Fun. Right. Maybe I'll try and set up my own stream and then like reciprocate, and you can laugh at me as I misplay. <laughs> yeah, we'll see that. Then you can find out how hard it is. Hey, everybody, thank you very much. Well, I don't, I don't have a camera, so I will just be like a voice on the internet. Yeah, still, as most people do. Right, buddy, thank you very much. No worries. Have a great Cheers. one, and have I'll good... see you tomorrow for the pauper stream. Yep, you playing, yep, yeah? Yep. Uh, yes, I haven't decided whether I'm going to build a new deck or I'm just going to run back try. Yeah, I haven't decided whether I'm going mono green or mono black. I, I'm, I've, I've done some reps with the mono black, so I'll probably be playing that. Um, I kind of want to build a treasure hunt deck, but I feel like I've, I've been too much on the janky combos that just don't really work, but are hilarious. And I should probably actually play like good decks. Maybe. Or you should play fun. <laughs> right, buddy. I will see you or speak to you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Have a good Peace one, out, man. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.